proud members of the Podbelly Network. What's your favorite scary movie? Oh, come on, you know I don't watch that shit. Why not? Too scared? No, no, it's just what's the point? They're all the same. Some stupid killer stalking some big-breasted girl who can't act who's always running up the stairs when she should be going out the front door. It's insulting. Hello hey. and welcome to episode 58. This is Kim and Cat Stay Alive, maybe. maybe. We're a horror movie comedy podcast. We're going to tell you the entirety of a movie, uh, spoilers and all. Yeah. And we're going to play a little game to see if we can stay alive and you should play along. Specifically me. Specifically me, I'm going to try to stay alive. And by me, you mean? Ketrin. That's, exactly. That's my voice. I wonder if people Do can Do people not know our voices? I don't know. I'm not ever sure. I mean, when I hear us, I'm like, we could not sound more different. I think longtime listeners probably do, but in the beginning, it's probably a little more challenging. Really? I'm not sure. I feel like we sound like completely different human beings because. But we then are. also, even if you can differentiate us, you're like, wait, but which one is which? The, oh, which voice yeah, yeah, is yeah, yeah, which? Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like they're, they're different, but who's who? Yeah. Got it. Yeah. So this is Kim. This is Ketrin. <laughs> <laughs> and the way that I just said that phrase is a way that I've never spoken a phrase before in my life. <laughs> uh, uh, Gina holds out. Tits up. Mm. Um, I'm already a little drunk. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Me too. Uh, <laughs> we've drank all day. I haven't eaten a lot of food. <laughs> nope, me neither. Um, hey, hi. I'm gonna. I mean, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna let the cat out of the bag. Yeah, to the cat in the room. Yeah, talk about the bat and the cat. <laughs> Let's talk about the elephant in the room that's with the cat in the bag and let them all out together. I'm just going to get it off my chest. Let's get it off. Um, I am back to being single again. Um, I didn't know what was coming off her chest. <laughs> I was like, I am ready. Yeah. Uh, not that I was ever completely not single, sure, but sure. you know what I mean? I'm officially Shit. not dating the person that I was excited and talked about. Mm-hmm. And I'm only talking about it because we talk about it on the podcast. Yep. And I'm sure everyone's wondering. Yep. Um, and it's very, very recent from the time that we're talking mm-hmm. about it currently. Mm-hmm. And I'm very <laughs> sad about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Am I going to cry in the podcast again? I think you're going to cry what? in the podcast I, again. Uh, I would like to give myself some gold stars in regards to Kim's breakup. <laughs> <laughs> and those gold Thanks, stars. Thanks, Ketrin. What are they? Uh, tell yep, me. I'll tell you. I have kept my rage... <laughs> So not rageful. And I feel it so deeply. And I just haven't gotten a single fucking gold star from Kim. I'm just telling all you that. I've been so neutral, so supportive. You have. I've had. Thank you. Very little rage coming Um, at Kim. And I just want you to know. (laughs) I have thought about that and so i'll give you your gold stars thank you because i have thought about it um (sighs) ketra knows that like for me personally and maybe other people can feel this way but like i understand why ketra the second someone like hurts me ketra gets turns into like lion mom i want to murder she just turns into immediately protective mode of me even though she really likes this person right i do um and fully approved of him. Mm-hmm. And he didn't do anything bad. We ended things simply because of distance. Right. Which I've talked about on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Which is infuriating because he did know where I lived the entire time. The and entire he did ask me out. <laughs> time. It's the only thing that was known. I'm sorry. That came from the depths of my asshole. Um, I <laughs> And yeah, we broke. But that almost makes it harder to get over it. Like I break, for some reason, people break up it's with easier me a lot an asshole. by being like, oh, I care about you so much. Or like, even I'm in love with you still or blah, blah, blah. But da, 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 da. Yeah. Like some logistical reason and then I'm just like okay I mean it'd be a lot easier to get over this if you just said I don't like you or like they were an asshole if they were an asshole to actually over not that I want him to be an asshole it would make me judge my picker it would make me judge my feelings so I'm happy he's not but like it just fucking sucks I mean I prefer when people are assholes (laughs) because then my rage can be rageful oh so going back yeah and I wonder if other people feel this way I understand we had just whatever conversation we're just talking about um where I was like yeah from the outside perspective 
you can be really angry about it. But when you're in the relationship, yeah, I have some anger, it's but I'm mostly, it's multifaceted. Yeah. yeah. And so when Ketrin just gets mad at someone, then I'm just like there, we spend most of our time of me defending that person. And I was like, well, this isn't helping me at all. Yeah. yeah. So I really appreciate you keeping that in. Thank you. Because and you I have been there for me yes. in a really wonderful way. And I'm being silly about it, but I like know. I wanted you to know that like <laughs> for our friendship, <laughs> I was making a conscious decision to, to not be angry and it's been helpful yes. for me yes so I because appreciate I, it because I hear you and I Thank know you. that that I haven't been good at that in the past so I just mm-hmm. was like I want Kim to know that I hear her and this isn't a coincidence thank you that so I'm much. being fucking chill as fuck <laughs> when I don't feel fucking chill as fuck <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah um uh, I'm very sad yeah and it hurts a fuck ton yeah and um, I know everyone gets it. And um, it's interesting ha- now having a, a live um, audio journal of my <laughs> dating life right? over the past yeah. year. And it does make me recognize, because sometimes I get real judgy about myself. And you know this, that I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, how? why do I feel so horrible about someone that I met like two months ago? Mm-hmm. And I get like so judgmental about that. But then I like look back and I'm like, oh, because I know what I want and I know what I like. And I'm like, I've dated a fuck ton of people. So you're even not just over losing this, a stranger. You're year. losing someone that was intentional. Yeah. Like yeah. even just this year and like the entire time, like I'm like, oh, this person's cool. I'm interested in getting to know them more. Like I, I just like recognize the difference between my feelings for certain people. And I'm just like, yeah, it's like I've dated people for like little amounts of time here and there. And, you know, sometimes it sucks if they yeah. ghost me or don't want to hang out anymore or whatever. And then there's, don't get me wrong I'm very aware that there's plenty of people that I also you know say no thank you to right. <laughs> you know what I mean that are like, amazing not, people and they're just exactly, not your like, people I'm not like delusional yeah. or anything um so it's like been interesting to have this <laughs> outlet to be like oh no like sometimes people just like actually end up being like really more meaningful and like you think it might be actually something and yeah. then it sucks when it's not yeah, but what I've told Kim, and I'm going to tell this to all of our other Sammies. <laughs> so I'm going to be everybody's Ketrin for one second, because <laughs> Kim's already heard it, that uh, when you are out there really looking for your person, your job is harder because you've decided that you will only settle for exactly your person. There's only a couple of those. One, maybe. And they're a lot harder to find than just any old person that's not entirely a match for you, but you'd rather not be alone. And so if you are deciding to find your person that makes you better and makes you 100% you, then your job's a little harder, but your job's also worth a lot more. Yeah. So I am going to keep reminding Kim that. And then I'm also going to be every Sammy's Ketrin and remind all of you of that, that you're all worth finding your person. 100%. And you're totally capable of working a little bit harder, which is what it's going to take. So we're going to do it together. We're all, yeah, we're going to do it together. And (sighs) here's the thing. Now you have a lion Ketrin if any if any you yeah if any Sammy oh girl if any Sammy tells me hey bitch let your lion out let me tell you (laughs) it's already out beware the (laughs) wrath yeah I love you Bernsey I love you too I think it's really cool that you just talk to people about that because you're not alone and we've had we've had fucking people say that a lot of people yeah so I think it's really cool that you're talking about it because we're in people's earballs right now that mm-hmm. may be experiencing the exact same fucking thing. Yeah. And, and they're like, okay. oh shit, it's not just me. Yeah. And it's okay to feel sad and I'm definitely going to feel my feelings, yep. all of them, every which way, shape and form. Mm-hmm. And I know that I will 100% be okay. Yep. Because I have felt this pain before and I've also felt the exact place that I was when I met this person, which yep. was feeling really great before. So somehow I got from that pain to that place, which means I can do it again. And I've watched even though you, it feels impossible right yeah. now. Well, bitch, I've watched you way lower than this. Oh yeah. And sure. 
you fucking climbed the fuck out of that hole. So if you don't know it right now, you know me. I'll always know it until you know it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And my my recovery time is quicker each and every time. So yeah. that's a win. And I have so many more tools than I did in the past. From so many tools. Her tool Lots bag. Things, I mean, I had to get so. her a whole new tool bag. Because she couldn't hold, it, hold <laughs> all her tools. All my tools my tool bag. <laughs> So are you um, going to get to tell me a movie where I get to get my revenge and rage out uh, or I'm not sure. You know what? I'll find a way. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm proud of you. I love uh, you. Thank you. I would I would say it depends what side of the depends what team you're on in my movie because you know what? I bet you could on one team. You know what? I'll always find my team. I think you would on one team. Yeah. My revenge team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do we have any other business other than our personal um, business that we just air out on fucking laundry lines blowing in the wind? <laughs> I only do that because people. No, have, I love a it. A lot of people. I, don't I was know, write us and tell us. That I was they making a laundry line it. joke that all horror movies people oh, right. hang their sheets What's in the. That about? I don't know. All right. Well. I'm going to dry my tears and um, fucking tell you this movie. Don't dry them. Just let them flow. Okay. I'm going to scream and cry (laughs) and tell you this fucking movie. (laughs) I have a fucking pit in my stomach that won't go away. And I'm just going to keep drinking this whiskey and eating this fruit out of a jar. I love it. I made Kim a... um, (sighs) I had plain White Claw. You guys know I'm a basic White Claw bitch. Uh, But I put some fruit in there and Kim is just scooping it out like a little bird <laughs> out of her birds don't so use their good. hands what uses their hands a sloth sloth oh, scoops, scoops, I am a sloth. Fruit, scoops fruit out she's just scooping it out into her mouth it's I'm real cute this fruit like a sloth i'm really into dino fruit yeah dinosaur eggs dude apparently so it's a fruit you guys it's a it's amazing <laughs> we talked about it the last episode Did we're still we? eating I don't it know, i'm drunk <laughs> Me too. I'm fucking wasted. This is the most drunk I've been for an episode. Uh, it's a type of plum, and it looks I like a straight a up dinosaur. Drink, you guys, yeah, I've been heartbroken and then had business constantly. I haven't had right? like a day to even just like lay in bed. I just need to lay in bed for a day. You do. So instead, I'm telling you this tale. I'm and drinking you know what's great? Whiskey. Eric's gonna be home soon, and then we can send him out for errands to like get a shit. <laughs> just get a shit. Just get a know. shit. Get a shit that we, we need. need? What the fuck do we need? Let's we make need, a list. We need fucking what ice we cream. We need more fucking. We need more fucking white claw. I need a fucking flamethrower. Ooh, <laughs> flamethrower. <laughs> Eric, go to the flamethrower store. If you could go to the cop flamethrower <laughs> store. <laughs> flamethrower. <laughs> well, this is gonna be a good one. Here we go. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. God, I fucking love you this so much. Is ah, I love you too. This is House of One Thousand Corpses. <gasps> oh. I feel like I could create a house of a thousand corpses. (laughs) 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 So I'm excited. I've wanted to see this one forever. The reason I'm doing it is because when this episode comes out, which will be whatever day today is, September something. Sure. The Monday after today, I believe is September 16th, Uh huh. which is when Three from Hell comes out. (gasps) Oh, fuck yeah. So... This is all Rob Zombie. So yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. House of a Thousand Corpses and then The Devil's Rejects. Um, so what's crazy is this movie was 2003. Devil's Rejects was 2005. And now the third one, Three from Hell, is now. Oh. So long awaited. Wow. You could say. All right, Rob. Let's um, hear it. So he's doing like a... Actually, I think probably in LA and maybe other bigger cities, they're doing like a three-day Can I ask fucking a really stupid situation. question? Oh yeah, God. go on. My husband's gonna murder me i know the name rob zombie i know that he's a music person right but is he in a band or is he his own zombie he was in white zombie white zombie Uh, and these are all things that i would like never be able to listen to and now that i I just said that i got really panicky nervous that Uh i was wrong but i'm 90 percent sure he was in white zombie and then they split up and he does have um, his own... His own zombie. Uh, he's his own zombie. He's his own he's zombie. He's his own zombie. <laughs> okay. Um, but it's all music that, like, I would not be able to listen to, correct? It's like, like it's hard Hard. Rock. Right. Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. I've been listening to it. It's been feeling really good right now for me. Oh, good. Okay. To it, like, on the way here. 
You know me. Uh, if I need to rage out, I need Living to Dead Girl to is one of his fuck it. Hamilton. <laughs> Thomas Jefferson. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> That's my speed. Beyonce, Hamilton, you know. Sometimes, yeah, I don't know. His music has been feeling, it's been tingling my neck uh, recently. I the back it. of my neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been ASMRing um, you. I Living Dead Girl is like, da, 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 da. you've heard it. You know okay. what it is. Anyway, um, let's hear it. Let's hear this. Someone tagged us to it and like on Instagram the other day, actually, oh. with that oh. song. Oh. Uh, beep boop bop beep boop. He also did um the Halloween that uh, that we did that we did. No, on I this. knew so yeah, I yeah, knew yeah. that, but I was Great. trying to like I was less secure with my lack of knowledge about music at that time, okay. so I didn't want to like talk about how right. I didn't fully know who he was. Okay. Um, that's that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> side note. Uh, so I was debating between this. And the devil's rejects. Oh, and um, I just picked this because it was like the first one, and it, they're kind of like okay. a. Do you want me to do devil's rejects? Thing? Maybe I'll do <gasps> devil's rejects. I mean, that would be fun, and then we could go watch the fucking three from the hell. Third one. Okay, great. Should be fun. I'll do that. Um, but this did get a twenty percent score on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, <laughs> better than Open House. But ironically, the audience score is sixty five percent. Really? So all right. I mean, if that says something to you. It does say something. Something Sounds is like being the said people to me. like it. Yeah. And the critics are like, I don't know. You. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe they're being dicks. I don't know. So, Dead or Alive. Mm-hmm. Captain Spaulding, who is Sid Haig, and he is at all the conventions, and he has the clown. Yes. Um, He's alive. So that is his character in this. Is Got the it. character that he is. You said alive? Yeah. Okay. Baby Firefly, who's played by Sherry Moon, Sherry Moon, zombie. Ah, who's Rob's wife? She's left. Uh, Bill, played by Rain Wilson. <gasps> Dead. <laughs> Jerry, played by Chris Hardwick. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> hey now, he's dead. I'm not happy with Chris Hardwick. Yeah. Denise, played by Denise. Denise. Yeah, yeah. You know Denise. Alive. Yeah, good old Denise. Uh, girlfriend. Dad. Mother Firefly. Dad. Long hair, bald guy. Dad. Tiny. Alive. Dad slash Mr. Willis. Mm, dead. Sheriff number one. Alive. Sheriff number two, who is Walton Goggins who I just had a conversation with about who Walton Goggins is. And I was like, was it with you? No. Who was it with? Not me. (laughs) Never heard that name before. It sounds made up. You know, Walton Goggins. And they kept saying he was in the shield, which I don't watch. And they were like, and justified. And I was like, oh, I think I knew you're talking about when you say justified. He's in so many things. You would recognize his fucking face. I recognize him. Um, And I was like, I think I know you're talking about. And I was right about who I thought, whoever the fuck I was having this conversation. So if you're listening person, I had this conversation with about who Walton Goggins is. (laughs) I'm I officially am positive who and I I I was on I was on the same page the whole time please message us because I know (laughs) I'd love to know who who the fuck him was talking to (laughs) but you would recognize Walter Goggins did you ever watch Justified no he's in everything okay what is he though oh I don't know alive dead dead he's fucking dead he's dead he's dead all right so we start with like a fuzzy TV screen and it's black and white, like kind of old horror kind of comes mm-hmm. on the screen. It's Dr. Wolfenstein. <laughs> it's the creature feature show. And it's like kind of a guy in like it's black and white and like kind of like shitty fucking makeup with like science shit around him and like <laughs> right. electric and like horror. Ah. And he's like, I'm your ghost host. Dr. <laughs> and I was like, ghost ah, host. Ghost host. and he's like, get ready for your movie marathon. Ha 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 ha. And then we see Captain Spaulding um, on the TV screen, and it's basically like a commercial. Okay. And so it's Sid Haig, who's like dressed as the clown guy, mm-hmm. and it's, he's kind of got like circus kind of going on around him, and it's kind of, but again, all black and white, and it's like, do you like 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 blood, violence, freaks? Like, come to the Museum of Monsters and Madmen. 
and blah 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 and he's like we also have fried chicken and then like sure. directions like scroll across the screen <laughs> kind of you know what I mean yeah, so yeah. kind of like that like a like, sort of like small town yes. uh, public television commercial very much that yeah and then we come upon the actual capital captain spaulding museum and there's like a it's like kind of lit up but like shitty looking it's like actually like a divey gas station looking okay. place and it has like fried chicken and gasoline sign <laughs> like you know what I mean it's yeah. like old and dingy there's like a weird like creepy clown like um just uh statue right like laughing and saying creepy shit like at the front like ah. and then we see October 30th 1977 okay now we're inside and there's this guy um, glasses guy trying to sell like a topless picture of a chick okay. um, but it's like signed with like his name on it so he's like ah fuck I can't even sign it now because it's got my name on it I, something what? like weird okay. but he's trying to sell it to Sid Clown okay and then they start kind of trash talking about some dude down the road who I think sells fruit or some shit like that. I don't Fuck know what about how he's like puts pencils in his eyeballs or something. And they're clearly like Kim, in you are saying crazy <laughs> things to me. You just said they're talking shit about the guy down the street that sells fruit and puts pencils in his eyes. I don't know. Like that's what they're talking like they're but that's how they're saying it. like they're just okay. like oh yeah fucking dash fucking gosh sure 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 he's you know fucking fruit stand guy. I don't even know if he sells fruit. I I vaguely remember that. That could be incorrect. He sells eye pencils. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're like fucking motherfucking dot da da ba ba. Like they're okay. just like talking trash. Just but talking in like trash. a fucked up southern like side of the road. Sure. Out in the fucking middle of nowhere. Their hangout is a gas station that sells fried chicken. Um, I got you. And they're clearly this is like the museum. It's like you go to buy gas, but you're also inside the museum part of the Mad Men, whatever the fuck it is. Sure. Because there's all kinds of weird shit all around. Like you would actually love it in there. Yeah. Huh, sounds great. Let's go. Um, so we see um, a cop car like leaving the gas station. They just got some gas. Back inside, the glasses guy goes to the bathroom. Sid's kind of making jokes and laughing after him. And then we're like outside of the gas station and it's like point of view of like running into the station and we see it's two guys with guns and masks oh, one no. is like a ski mask and one's like a plastic monkey mask and they're trying to rob sid and uh they're like put your hands up and sid like holds his hands up with two middle fingers <laughs> uh, and he he like just starts yelling at them basically and he's like hey here you know you want some fried chicken like and <laughs> literally like ski mask puts his like gun into his face and he's like i hate clowns monkey face goes um into the bathroom to get glasses guy and now ski mask is just holding his gun to like sid's face with like counting down from three he's like three two and glasses guy um and monkey mask have come out of the bathroom now and he's like starting to count down and glasses guy's like i know you are you Richard? You work at the hardware store. Ha ha. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, oh, no, you're Richard. You're the guy that everyone makes fun of for like <gasps> your dick or something. Oh, like, shit. They got that song about your little dick song. Little dick song, something, something, something. And I was oh, like, what the fuck? God. And then Monkey Mask was like, shut up, shut up. I hate that song. And he takes his mask off. And then Sid starts laughing and he just looks at the fucking guy with the gun and he's like, fuck your grandma. And then Ski Mask starts freaking out and he's like, fuck it. And he takes his mask off and points at Sid. And then it's like, boom, 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 boom. And it's like very stylized. Right. Um, the door actually opens. It's like, dun, dun, dun. we see it like three times over. Right. And a person in like a giant oversized masked faced head of some sort, like maybe a clown. I don't know what the face was exactly, but it like oversized okay like face the size of the body but only on the head part oh no comes in with an axe and um someone shoots <laughs> <laughs> uh and giant uh you got this girl got it so what's his face shoots misses giant mask comes in and hits ski mask with the axe okay now sid pulls out a gun and he shoots monkey mask okay and then he like smells his gun from <laughs> like the fucking like he like loves the, the gun smell gun smell <laughs> and then giant mask face mm -hmm. takes his thing off and he's just like some laughing guy with like fucked up teeth 
like we're talking like everyone's got fucked up teeth. Sure, sure, sure. A lot sure. Of, like that's the scene that they're setting, not to be judgmental, but no. But the dentist is fifty overalls. miles away. They don't have dentists on the side of the road no, here. Like they, they don't. only have museums of Mad Men and sure fried chicken. I am with you. Um, I am at the museum of fried chicken. So. Uh, Sid now like walks up to Ski Mask and he like steps on him to kind of like wake him up a little yeah. bit and he's like most of all fuck you and <laughs> shoots him I like this I like this it's fun feeling it was, good it was fun I needed it a little yeah. bit yeah cut to black and we kind of hear his voiceover being like motherfucker got blood on my best clown suit and he <laughs> kind of starts laughing and we go into the credits House of a Thousand Corpses a song plays that I'm sure is Rob Zombie, but it was a very um, True Blood vibe. Do you remember the beginning of I True Blood? I do remember the True I Blood. I hope that's not offensive to Rob Zombie or anyone. No, but it's like, not like a, it's whatever. It's definitely it's, meant to evoke. They show it's a bunch of pictures like that. Yeah. So it's like show. This happens a lot in the, within this well, movie. Wait, when did this come out? 2003. So then True Blood was copying off of. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm just saying like I don't know if it was exactly the same style or whatever yeah, or yeah, music yeah. was the same style but it felt it the felt same the same to me yeah. I knew it was the best way to describe it to you yeah. um, t- it was the song felt similar yeah um, and the pictures feel similar yeah and this this picture montage thing happens a lot in the movie okay and it's very stylized um, and I'll go into it as it happens like it's like Wait, I'm not going to try to sing it now because now all I have in my head is Living Dead Girl, but it's like <laughs> House of a Thousand Cars. Oh, fuck. Anyway, some of the lyrics are This is the house, come on in, built on sin. Da 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 da. Into it. What's the true blood? Oh, uh, girl, all I have is my f- jaunty fairy tune in my head. That's all I got. <laughs> That's all you ever have. Yeah. True blood is like, oh, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> We'll play it. We'll play it for you guys on social media. We'll play what we're talking about. So now there's a truck driving down the road that has a big thing I'm in the back. I'm fucking slurring my words like fucking frat bro, <laughs> frat Brad right now. <laughs> is, this, is that a job? Is that a slug? Is that a slug? How's it going? Slug, slug, dog? slug dog? <laughs> slug dog millionaire? <laughs> slug dog millionaire. That's me right now. I'm fucking slug dog millionaire right now. <laughs> Uh, guys okay. i'm heartbroken we needed a drunk day we forgive did. us we did all right so so this truck is driving on the road and it's got like a big sign in the back being like god is dead and it's like a loudspeaker of fucking preaching bullshit sure. or whatever but that's just passing by and then there's also a car passing by and we kind of go into the car and we see <gasps> chris hardwork and rain wilson driving okay um can chris hardwick act to save his life yeah he was pretty this this yeah okay all right like i would say whatever you think of chris hardwick he's he's this character okay like he's just kind of like fun and it still requires talent to be yourself so i'll give it to him and like yeah i don't know he didn't he didn't he didn't bother you bother me at all great no okay cool this movie is all like very stylized and like specific though so it's kind of like i don't know yeah but let me eat the strawberry real quick. <laughs> we can cut this out. Let's not. It's for our ASMR uh, Sammy's. <laughs> Kim's eating the strawberry. I couldn't help it. I was just like, give me the strawberry. I needed it. And I just needed it. <sighs> so they're driving. Rain. So uh, their names are Jerry and Bill. Can we do Chris and Rain? I, I'm going to do Jerry Hardwick. Jerry Hardwick and <laughs> and Chris Rain. Bill Wilson. Bill Wilson. Okay. <laughs> Chris Rain. That didn't even make sense. I was doing. I I Chris have Rain to... is both of their. First I names. know. <laughs> <laughs> what if I just called them? What if I called one of them Chris Rain? You'd always be like, <laughs> wait, which one is that? <laughs> I'm. What is happening? Okay. We have to get through this. We have to get Jerry. through this. Jerry. Jerry and Bill. All right, Jerry and Bill. So. Bill Wilson is driving. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I like that his name is Bill Wilson. I know. It's like exactly who he is, too. He's wearing overalls, I'm pretty sure. Um, and Jerry Hardwick is in the passenger seat. He's okay. looking at an article about the Manson murders and things like that and, like, the people who did it, and, sure. like, the chicks who did it. And then, like, 
Bill Wilson is all like, oh, we're fucking almost out of gas. Did you not get enough gas? They kind of like start bickering about getting gas. Right. And then there's a billboard on the side of the road that says Captain Spaulding Museum of Monsters and Mad Men gasoline here. And fucking Jerry Hardwick's like, brah. Yeah. Right there. We're done. Creepy. Great. Creepy. <laughs> 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 like it's great it's just, it's just normal and fine we it's should go normal. get it there it's just not creepy <laughs> next word on my the next word on my page is creepy but it's for it's just different reason i was just peeing a little I felt really, really, really insecure about my bladder control just then. Oh, boy. Oh. Okay. So it's creepy and great. But it's, it's great and normal. <laughs> just go to this billboard place, get our gas. Then clips start happening again okay. that we see as an audience okay. and they're a little creepy. creepy. <laughs> it's just. Okay. They're a little creepy. creepy. Yeah. <laughs> They're very, they reminded me a lot of like, <laughs> Catherine's peeing her pants. Was, they, reminded okay. me, they reminded me of um, the Mandy things. Yes. How, like they'd be in like those different colors or like even yes. um, uh, like film when it's like the other way. What is <laughs> <laughs> No, and it's like when the it was opposite actually film. of film. But like, on the film and that's like the negative of it and yes. then it's like the you negative. can make the colors the kind of different you can make them opposite yeah got it the opposite it's of like film. that and then sometimes colors of it and got it stuff like that <sighs> got it that happens a lot in this okay. so anyway there's just like some creepy clips and they remind me of Van- mandy because they think there were different colors and stuff in this part okay pull up to the gas station <laughs> <laughs> uh. bill wilson is getting gas and jerry hardwick was inside and he comes out and he's like you gotta come inside and look at this oh it's shit crazy. more creepy clips then jerry uh knocks on the back window and wakes up a chick who's sleeping in the back okay and he's like come in she leans over and wakes up the other girl next to her we didn't know these chicks were even in oh, here i certainly did not and then she's like time to go to work and i was like what what are we doing what's where work um Sid is inside now and he's finishing kind of mopping up the floor and it's basically finished but inside the bucket it's definitely some bloody Blood. water yeah mm-hmm. so Bill and Jer are just looking around sure and Bill Wilson uh, kind of starts talking to Sid and being like oh how long have you ran the place he's kind of like taking notes actually too interesting and you know and Sid's all just like I mean how long is too long and like he's like it's been too damn long wow. and he's, he's like just being fucking Sid since, am yeah, I right just being Sid yeah just fucking sitting it up it's all very wacky and quirky you know and Sid's all like why are you asking questions and Bill Wilson is like, oh, we're making a book on offbeat roadside attractions. Oh. You know, we're driving across, across country and all the little places you stop at. You know, Yo. when you drive cross country. How much fucking fun does that sound like? Uh, Whoa. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I should wait till the end of the movie. Okay, got it. Tell me after. Okay. And, uh, but it does. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But like then like the music starts getting tense a little bit. So you're like, oh, and, less cool. Less and fun. Sid's like kind of like starts. He's like kind of laughing, but he's like getting in his face a little bit. And he's yeah. just like, no, I don't know what it's like to drive cross country. And he's like, oh, y'all they just think our country folk are real funny, huh? Like we need to get ourselves some, some education, huh? You uh, fucking asshole. Rah, rah, rah. Oh, and Bill no. is like, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm very interested. I'm not making fun. And then Sid's like, gotcha. And they're all like, ha, 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 ha. Oh, man. <gasps> That kind of interaction is one of my worst nightmares. <laughs> like that's right up there with having to have a weird conversation with a mascot. I I can't do it. Do mascots talk to you a lot? It's that so much of my understanding of language comes from people's facial expressions. Right, right, right. And I cannot get any of that from a mascot. So I don't know what's Which I being... think is why they usually don't speak. Aren't they usually just like making face making and that's, movements? I hate it. I'd rather them try to like muffle talk to me through their mask. I I hate it. I when I go to Disneyland, 
I avoid them. Like Eric knows to like pull me away from anything with a mask. <laughs> I hate it. I can't handle it. Oh, wow. <laughs> this, is, this is very exciting. Yeah. Like when we like talk to burps map and stuff. Yeah. If you notice, like I get in the picture and then I'm like, thank you and walk away. But it's burps map. I, but he, he's got the power. He has the power. He, he can see my face and I can't see his. I think you should be wary this Halloween. Lauren oh, Ketron Porter God! Martin. <laughs> Terrified. Yes. I think. I just revealed. Me thinks we've found. My weakness. Your weakness. <laughs> <laughs> so they're looking around the creepy museum stuff in the store. And then Chris Hardwick is like, also, there's a murder ride. I got us tickets. Oh. And the girls don't want to go. They're just like, let's just fucking leave yeah but he's like come on blah 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 so they all get in and it's like (laughs) it's like basically like one car okay of a ride that you would get into like at an amusement park oh okay um, Uh uh-huh that would go along a little track kind of like um the uh, pirates of the caribbean thing or whatever yeah and like those little like guys pop up like it's like life-size little things are popping up um but sid's in the front of them and he's all like fucking dressed to the nines now and he's like get ready here we go feels more like willy wonka the way you just described oh it. that too a little bit where it's um, like but he's less... in the front like tour guiding yeah yeah, yeah 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 um but less colorful and fun yeah uh and but like it's not actually even moving it's just um guy who was holding the axe that we know from before is just pushing it through shut <laughs> up oh my god this is amazing okay so he's like sid's all like and up first we see da, 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 and a guy pops up right out of them albert fish <gasps> you hear that is yeah right? i do know and who then he albert starts fish telling is. the tale of albert fish who's Ooh. like a horrible serial killer and then like as he's telling the tale it's like cut to like old-timey videos of albert fish etc cetera, etc cetera. and then we Are move along videos of albert i mean i doubt okay. like it's just movie reenactments things. Okay, okay, okay i fucking don't even know i have to reenact i need to focus. it was just they did old-timey videos as he was talking got it Okay. I don't even know of what. Let's be real. And then they move along and like other things kind of pop out. Like it's actually like pretty creepy and scary. I was like, oh. And then he's like, up next, it's Ed Gain. <gasps> Ed Gain. And then they start talking about tales of him and they're like, um, then they keep going and then it's like dead bodies in a cemetery and like da 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 and it's all very creepy and then we have our local hero Dr. Satan Ooh, I want to go on this ride he was a surgeon intern at a mental hospital in fact he did all these horrible things and there's a hanging tree that he used <gasps> that's only a stone's throw from where you're sitting right now Ooh. And it's like a, you know, robot guy like doing surgery or whatever. Sure, sure. And they're like, his body is missing. <gasps> um, no trace of it has ever been discovered. <gasps> and then Axe Guy like slowly like touches like one of the girl's hair in the back. And she's like, Jerry, stop it. <laughs> oh, no. Now the tour is over. Bill Chris. I kept getting confused as to what their names were for a long time. So Bill Wilson and Chris Jerry. Nope. (laughs) Jerry Jerry Hardwick and Bill Wilson. I think this is me trying to say Bill Chris, but I think I was talking about Chris Hardwick. Chris Hardwick. Who's Jerry the whole time. Jerry Jerry Hardwick. Okay. I kept being like, wait, which one's Bill? Which one's Jerry? Which one's Bill? Which one's Jerry? I don't recall. Jerry Hardwick. Jerry Hardwick. He like runs outside of the doorway that has like a big like monster thing in front of it. And he's like, Dr. Satan, Dr. Satan, oh, so badass. Ah! Like he's just having the time of his life exploring the fucking it. country. And uh, Bill's girl is like, I'm going to go call my dad. And cut to a suburban kind of looking street. It seems to be Halloween. Like there's trick or treaters all around. On the TV is the guy from the beginning, the Dr. Wolfenstein. Dr. Wolfenstein. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, the phone rings, an old man picks up, and the girlfriend is calling. Her name is Denise. Okay. And she's like, hey, dad, 
we're behind schedule, so we're not going to get there when we thought we were. And he's like, oh, okay, no worries. And he's like, Halloween is on a school night this year, so they're actually trick-or-treating tonight around here, blah, blah, blah. Weird. I know. I was like, did you ever do that? Never. Me neither. But there is like, and also there is this dumb petition where they want to make Halloween. make it on Saturday or something. Yeah. Yeah. Which is funny because last year when we were trick-or-treating with Willow, I went... They should just make Halloween on the last weekend of October. And then when they proposed it, I was like, fuck no. <laughs> like I got real angry about it. Why did you get, why, what was your. I think it was just like October 31st is Halloween. Yeah, like I just agree. had like a feeling about it. But at the time I was like annoyed that it wasn't a weekend. Yeah. Cause you're like, I want to drink my mold wine. My all night. Um, yeah. We, which I'm sure I've told you and talked about many times, but, uh, my neighborhood was very like Irish Italian Catholic. And so, um, uh, Irish Italian Catholic. I thought Irish and Italian people hated each other. Is that an old, old thing? That's not a thing. I mean, the Irish people weren't liked, um, not that long ago in America. And the Italian people also weren't liked. So maybe mm -hmm. that's what I'm thinking. I thought Italian people also weren't liked. I'm sh- I think everyone was not liked at some point in okay. time, which is why Except anyone who British doesn't people. like a group of people right now, you're dumb. You're dumb. And it's stupid uh, because everyone has not been liked at a certain point of time. Dumb. And everyone is racist. And it's yeah. stupid. Um, no, there used to be signs that it was like on stores where it'd be like, no dogs, no Irish. No Irish. Yeah. So that yeah, was yeah. like very specific. But anyway, I, I, what are we talking about? What are we um, doing? Who is, who are we? My family was Irish Catholic, right. but I know that other people were not all Irish oh, we were Catholic. Talking there about some Halloween. Italian Catholic as well. So anyway, got it. Everyone I know went to Catholic school, and we had off the day after Halloween because it's All Saints Day. That's great. So it was like a school holiday, and like Philly high school, all Philly schools, like Catholic schools, very prominent there because it was just like. I don't know. I'd They're be into there. that. So I want at I least want, in grade school. I went to otherwise I went to high school. I went to public school. Yeah. But like, yeah, the day after Halloween, we had off because it was a it was a Saints holiday. Day. That's the <laughs> when I become president. It was literally all the Saints all day. the Saints. Uh, when I become president, that's what I'm going to propose. Halloween is always on October 31st, but you don't have to go to school the next day. Great, great, cool. Vote for me. Maybe let's just start with like election day being a holiday first and then the day after Halloween. Great. Great. great, great. Perfect. Vote for me. Katrin. So. Um, she's in this phone booth because it's 1977. Sure, so sure. She'll make a call in the phone booth. And like behind her, there's kind of like some random missing signs of people, blah, blah, blah. Back to the TV show. Um, There's like a palm reader happening and then the news comes on. And they start talking about how there's no leads in the dis- disappearance of five high school cheerleaders. Da, 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 da. And then cut to <laughs> back to Sid. And it's like the back of his shirt is where we start off. And I wrote the song because it was very prominent. And it says, if I wanted to listen to an asshole, I'd fart. <laughs> so I want that. Shirt. Uh, so Jerry Hardwick is all like, I really want to see this tree, this Dr. Satan tree. Mm-hmm. And Me too. Sid's like, all right, fine. I mean, I'll draw you a fucking map. Here, you take the dot, ba bop, bop, bop. And he's like, da, 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 take this chicken with you if you want. And more, and then it's like more creepy Mandy missing poster shots, et cetera. Right. Excuse me. <laughs> Excused. She's a, oh my God, she is like shoveling this, <laughs> liquor fruit right into her face should i have what you're having now if you want i can make you one yeah it's like water and whiskey and fruit Mm -hmm. okay before i eat all my fruit okay okay so now they're driving all in the car it's nighttime it's fucking raining it's storming they're fucking going to see dr satan tree sure they see a hitchhiker on the side of the road. Don't. and it's like a lady and like a cowboy hat and like a pink umbrella and they pick her up. She Spoiler will murder alert. you. It's Sherry Moon. Okay. So she's like, oh, I'm just headed home. It's nearby. And they're kind of like, do you know where the Dr. Satan tree is? And she's like, yeah, it's by my house. And then it cuts to like videos of her. Like there's, it's like kind of like home movie videos, yeah. basically. Of her being like, 
Whatever needs to be done, you do it. There is no wrong. If someone needs to be killed, you kill them. I <laughs> Back to driving. We, as the audience, see a guy kind of up in the trees or bushes. I say not like upstairs in the trees, just like in the bushes, the not side of the, in the, tree. the side of the bushes. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. He didn't go and up, he's up to the second, yeah, yeah. The second, not the second floor. Of he's the on tree. the first floor <laughs> of the tree, <laughs> like the bush, the bush, the bush room. level. Yep, the bush, the bush room. <laughs> <laughs> With that next to the house, right next to the house. And uh, he's got a bear costume on, and he shoots their tire, and they're like, oh. "Ah, fuck, flat tire." Oh no. So now the boys get out and they're all talking about like, oh, one of them was like, aren't you glad I like made sure you filled up the spare before we got in? And then, uh, you know, to Bill and then Jerry's like, Jerry Hardwick's all like, yeah, I know. It was so good that I reminded you of that. But what if I um forgot to uh, put it in the trunk? Did we have like a plan B or anything? You and he's like, asshole. Jerry. And they're like, Bill, Jerry, Bill. I'm so mad at Jerry and Bill. <sighs> So now they're all back in the car and they're like, what do we do? And Sherry is just like in the middle of the front seat. It's like one of those long bench seats or whatever. Right. And she's like, just kind of like turns on the music and is like rocking out. And she's like, I mean, we can just walk to my house. She's like, my brother, we're so close. My brother has a tow truck. And it's like uh, fucking pouring rain. Uh huh. Question number one. What do they do and what do you do? Oh my God, I'm having PTSD for my actual weekend this weekend. Uh <laughs> All right, it's raining. My car has a flat tire. Yes. Yes. She wants to walk to, okay, I'm going to answer them first. They already picked up a fucking hitchhiker. Mm -hmm. They're going to walk to her house for her brother's tow truck Mm -hmm. for sure. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call AAA. And even if it takes them three fucking hours. How are you calling AAA? (gasps) <gasps> it's 1977 it's 1977 fuck which is also why picking up a hitchhiker isn't like insane you're completely right you're like completely the girls right. were very much like don't pick her up and the next thing you know she's in the car you're completely but- right okay all right here's what i'm gonna do uh do i have can i ask you if i have i know i don't have the tire but do i have things like a crowbar in the truck I bet okay I'm going to bring a a literal weapon with me and the one that I can think of is like a crowbar or like something heavy that you would use to change a tire like that the x thing Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what is that axle I don't know what the fuck but I'm gonna bring that with me is that a tire iron tire iron yes whatever I've got with me I'm gonna bring a weapon uh, because yeah, if it's 1977, I kind of don't know what else I would do other than walk to this bitch's house. Here's a question for both you and them. Yeah. All of you, some of you, what? Oh, all of us because, because we don't have cell phones. Like I'm not, I'm never going to break up the group ever. If we had cell phones, what I'd probably do is leave two people one dude and one girl in the truck and then one dude and one girl walk to get the tow and make sure both groups were armed in some way but we don't have any of that so then I'm just not going to break up the group so all four of us are going to walk to her house but we're going to be like on the ready as if we are walking to a serial killer's house Um, but they just go and they're like great how convenient that your brother has a tow truck Worked out perfectly for us. I'm sure it's fine. The end. I'm just going to give you one point for them. Um, They do not all go. Oh, okay. Mostly because like, I don't know. I didn't find that to be specific in the necessity of the question. Sure, sure. (laughs) (laughs) Only one goes. Idiot. Do you want to guess who? I think it's idiot Chris Hardwick. It's Bill Wilson. It's Bill Wilson. Hmm. Yeah. Bill Wilson and Sherry walk to the house and cut to videos, videos of Sherry kind of like laughing with a knife and more old TV and da da da. Um, and 
Uh, oh, and so we're now just seeing again more like home video looking videos and then yeah. we see this guy talking about being a leader of a rebellion and he's a uh, long haired bald guy <laughs> which I realized long haired bald guy he's bald on top long hair coming down yeah yeah, yeah I got yeah. you I got you I got you which turns out he wasn't but what? he really looked it so that's Girl, that is he was. so specific what did you mix up for long haired bald guy well a He's very blonde, and then I think albino. So in my oh. defense, and it was like home movie video. So you were just seeing like translucent like hair, translucent on the the top. white skin. I hear of you. the top, I hear you. and I was like, well, and then like just very long, very long, like down to like the elbows, like stringy blonde reasonable. hair, totally reasonable. And I was like, whoa, long hair, bald guy. Yep. So he's just like preaching away. And preach and preach and preach and too about Jesus. Uh, no, about him being a about just about being a leader of a rebellion oh, of okay. some sort. He's preaching about the rebellion. Okay, got okay. it. You know, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the rebellion. The rebellion. Um, turns out he's talking to three cheerleaders tied up and scared. Oh looking. no! Back to Bill and Sherry. They get to this like big giant fucking house and they're on the porch walking up to the porch and there's like creepy dolls hung over all the walls. No, and she's like, I used to like to just chop off their heads and arms and stick them on the wall. Bop, bop, bop. Doors locked. I'm going to go in the back. And so she like pops around like she's very cheerful. Okay. Um, and there's just literally creepy dolls everywhere, which reminded me of the doll that I used when I was Wednesday when Adams. When you were Wednesday Adams. Which I talked about on my Disney audition. You adorable. <laughs> I, I haven't heard disaster. anything from them yet. It's no? So oh my God, that's so strange. I didn't so, like my story about ripping heads off dolls. I can't imagine why. How so, weird. Um, she's going around back. And so Bill Wilson's just kind of like looking around on the front porch. Jerry, hey! out. She's like, come in. I really have to pee because that I just scared myself and it made me pee a little. <laughs> you can go pee. I'm, I'm not gonna go kidnapping pee. you. I'm going to go pee real person. quick. <laughs> so Sherry's like, come on in. She's like, my brother already left to go get the car. Oh, right. Okay. And cut to the car. The girls are in the back playing cards. And one of them hears a noise. It's like pouring fucking rain outside. Right. And so she's like, did you hear that? And then she's like, no. And then she turns off the radio. Jerry Hardwick is like asleep in the front seat. And she's like, listen, I swear I heard something. What do they do and what do you do? Can you explain this truck to me? The layout of it? It's a car. It's a car. <laughs> it's like an old car. Like a, it reminds me of a Nova only because we had a note. I, I think life, here's I like. why I was confused initially is because like when you first told me about Bill and Jerry, like you were surprised that there were girls in the back seat. So I think I was picturing like a larger sort of almost like like a moving truck where there's like two. No, I think they were the just laying down sleeping. Okay. And so we just didn't see them. Okay. Uh, so they hear a sound. Okay, I'm going to wake up uh, Jerry Hardwick for sure. This is me. Going to wake up Jerry Hardwick. And then uh, since only Bill Wilson, did Bill Wilson take a weapon with him? Like what I said? No, they just had like the umbrella. Okay, then I'm going to arm myself with like something heavy and I'm going to wake up Chris and I'm going to have him turn the headlights on mm -hmm. in hopes of like either illuminating what's there or scaring what's there. Mm -hmm. uh, and then go from there. That's what I'm going to do. What do they do? Oh, my God. Do these fucking idiot bitches get out of the car to inspect or no? I'm going to give them a little bit more credit. I think they just like look out the window to be like, what is that out there? But they get their face really close to the window so that they could be easily punched through the glass. The end. Oh, I got some fruit chewing in my ears. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. She just 
Cut me up so much good fruit. I, just I know. Eat it. It's all how like are them fresh? How are the peaches? Are they all they soft and <gasps> they must be in season. I don't oh know. My God, I love it. Is it peach season? You guys? It is peach season. That's why I Let's bought them. Talk about it. Yeah. That's our next podcast. I only buy peaches what when they're in season. What fruit season is it right now? It's podcast. dinosaur egg season. Hey guys, welcome to another new episode. Do you know what fruit season it is? Dino egg. We're going to eat them on the podcast. Oh my God, right Live. into your ears. Um, okay. This is interesting. This is an interesting situation you put me in, Katrin, oh. as a as a gatekeeper. Okay. Scorfman. <laughs> yes. And uh so schoolman. <laughs> Cuz I don't know what it is. I have other plans depending on what it is. Right, 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 right. I have a very specific plan actually. See, I wouldn't have thought to do it. Um and I don't think it's the worst idea. So I'm going to give you a point. Okay. It's funny cuz it's what they do. Really? Yeah. Okay. And I wouldn't, I don't know. Like I was like, oh, turn the headlights on. Yeah. Good idea. Thank you. So. I should have given them more credit. Yeah. The girls are kind of like, mm, they're like chill fucking cool girls. Okay. They're just like, bro, I don't want to go to your fucking monster museum. Like, okay. I need to call my dad okay. because I told him I would be here this day and we're going to be late. You know what? You're right. They do sound like us a little bit and I wasn't giving them credit. Yeah. And um, so they turn on the headlights to see if something's out there. There's a man in front of the car. It's um, a guy with a bear head on. Sure. You know, but like as a hat. A bear in head the hat, hat way. In the hat way, not in the mascot way. Right, 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 okay, right. In the right, hat right. way. In the hat way, got it. That was a good description. I see yeah. his face still. He's just got like, yeah. it's like his head, bare, it's his face, bare face on got top. It. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Um, with like some bear sleeve on his ears. Sure. Just keep him warm. Yeah. I see it. Yeah. It's the fucking tow truck guy. Hey. And he like starts lifting up the car. Okay. Back to the house. Some clothes are like hung by the fire, like drying. And Sherry... By the hearth. By the hearth. And Sherry and Bill Wilson are there. And she's kind of just asking him questions. Or they're like, you know, chatting a bit. And he's like, um, oh, so do you like live alone? And she's like, no, you know, there's just a bunch of us here around. Blah, blah, blah. Cut to like videos of her or videos of long hair, bald um, guy, like torturing the cheerleaders. Right. And now Sherry comes in. She brings him like some hot cocoa and they're kind of like joking and she's like flirting with him for sure. I'm sorry. I just realized something. We're in Tell 19, us. We're in 1977. I forgot that for a second. When they got to the house, wasn't the whole point of them walking back to the house to tell the brother that they needed a tow truck? Yeah. And she went in the back because the she front door was locked. Back. And then she came out the front door and she's like, my brother left to go my get the car. My brother left to go get the car. Got it. Like okay. she took care of it basically without us ever without seeing us anything ever about seeing it. it. Okay, got it. Um, she's like flirty McFlirty flirt. She's like marshmallows and like has put on some like l- somehow long underwear that's like sexy. Oh, <laughs> that sentence that you just put I together. Know. They were like long underwear pants. I mean, she's just like kind of sexy in general so I think sexy um they were like falling off her butt a little bit you know and then sure like, like a little anybody. and then like a little baby doll shirt almost like oh, okay that's she's got a baby doll vibe okay going on and um cut to videos of her with it looks like skirts and shit <laughs> Skirts and Maybe shit. skulls and shit. Skulls, skulls and, and shit. shit. I bet it's that. Not skirts. I bet it's that. She's just hanging <laughs> out in a room of skirts. <laughs> you know, she's got that baby doll vibe. I <laughs> yep, just said yep, it. Yep, yep, yep. You did. Bill's skulls a- <laughs> and shit. Bill Wilson is a little uncomfortable, but Sherry just kind of is laying it on like she's just sweet and flirty. Yeah. And then, honk, honk. And he's like, oh, the, the tow truck's here with the car outside. And Lolo. Um... On the TV, the, like the little like House of Frankenstein is playing, and now everyone is in the house now. Okay, sitting in the hearth room. Yep. And Denise needs to call her dad again to sure. be like, "Bro, we're gonna be even more late." I like Denise. 
Mm-hmm. And new, so she's like, can I use your phone? A new lady comes in and she's like, ain't got one. Girl, you don't have a phone? And she's like a little older than Sherry. Like, um, and she's wearing like a nighty situation ish. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of like a boa, boa robe. I'm so sorry. Mm-hmm. What nighty situations are you under the impression of boas attached to them? Um, oh, a robe. Yes. I was thinking like a night, like I'm never sleeping with a boa around me. That's so itchy. Well, it's like on top of something else. Okay. And it's like maybe not even nighty. I don't know how to describe what she's wearing. But I see But it it's now. sexual in a way-ish. Okay. And she's got like long blonde hair and fucked up teeth. Oop. Um, Well, the dentist is multiple many miles away they don't have a side of the road dentist they, do not. they only have fruit yep and so uh that's where we got our fruit <laughs> where we're going on our fruit podcast yeah our fruitsy pods what that's what it's called fruit pod. fruitsy pods fruitsy pods <laughs> oh shit so, we have so many podcasts i know gosh um uh, so they don't have a phone and she gets real flirty with jerry hardwick oop and she tells Sherry to go check on Rufus with the tow truck. And Rufus. Jerry is kind of like making some jokes. And I think mom lady gets like, mama gets a little like insulted a little bit. Mm-hmm. Like I think he's maybe making tooth uh, jokes. Something along those lines. Yeah. And Sherry comes back in with some popcorn. And she's like, I saw Tiny and she's, he saw Rufus and he's going to go get a tire. Or something like that. Okay. It's going to take a couple hours. Okay. And Denise or someone is like, well, can Tiny drive us to a phone? And then the girls just laugh. They're like, ha, <laughs> Cut to videos of bloody dead cheerleaders. Oh, no. This is foreboding. And now mom is like, Halloween is very special to us. So you're all invited to dinner. <laughs> Question number three, what do they do? What do you do? And I'm looking at my questions and I was like, I don't know why I asked these half the time. <laughs> really? It's like poor choice, poor times, but whatever. Um, dinner's tonight, mm-hmm. correct? Fuck. All right. Ooh, you know what card I'm going to play? I'm going to say, you know what? I would love to stay for dinner. That sounds wonderful. I'm a vegetarian. Is that a problem for you? And try to use that as an excuse to be like, oh my gosh, that's so generous of you. I feel like such an asshole. Like I I won't be able to eat anything that you that you make. So thank you so much. You know what? I actually might just go sleep in the car. Like just not be in the house kind of thing. Wait, where's my car? Rufus has it. Rufus. Fuck. Rufus has it. Okay. Then I'm playing a new tactic. Fix the tire. Yep. Then I'm playing a new tactic. Uh, I'm going to stay for dinner. And the crazier they get, the more creeped out I get by them, the creepier I'm going to get. I'm going to get fucking creepy. I'm going to make them think that I'm one of their people because I think they want to murder me like a fucking cheerleader and I'm going to be like yeah like I can get creepy I'm going to get big and crazy and weird and at the very least they're going to think I'm one of their people that's what I'm going to do what did they do who am I all of them all of them I mean they're going to stay just because I don't feel like they have another option uh, but I'm going to get really fucking weird. Like, I'm going to do what I can to scare them. Yes. I think that's a fun idea. Yeah. I mean, it's weird, though, because, like, yes. I'm stranded. It's, it's interesting because I'm telling you what we're seeing movie version. But, like, every single clip of da 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 da, da happening, they're not seeing. You know what I mean? So I right. do need you to remember that. Or it's just, like, yes. They're fucking weird. Yes. Well, but you're like kind of just in this weird town, et cetera. Here's how I'm going to defend myself is when you were talking about what I do in the car when I can't see what's out there. 
and you were like, oh, that was interesting that you wanted to turn on the headlights. My next thing that I was going to do if I discovered what was out there was like, I have nothing around me. Like I can't get anywhere. So I was saying, I was like, depending on what it is, I'm going to use the bear tactic where like, I'm just going to go balls to the wall and be terrifying and loud and as big as I can. Mm -hmm. So like I already was kind of in that place. Yeah. I like it. Cut to the kids sitting at this dinner table. Yeah. Um, right now they're the only ones there. Uh, and they're like, all of the plates have like homemade masks on them. Oh, and lots of candles all over the table. Okay. A very, very tall man. Oh. With a weird mask that's maybe covering a deformed face, question mark? No, thanks. Comes in, silently sits at the table with them. Like, how tall are we talking? Very tall. Like seven feet? Yeah. No, thanks. And then mom comes in and walks up to him and writes him a note that we as the audience see that says get grandpa get grandpa and it's literally spelled g-r-a-m-p-a uh so he gets up and leaves so the kids have just seen like her write a note and him get up and leave and the kids are all like watching and then giving each other like eyeballs um uh, and mom's just like oh you'll have to forgive tiny he can't hear much uh, and she's like it's his dad's fault cut to videos of a guy in a fucking giant like a gas mask sort of thing um and she's like he tried to burn the house down and tiny was in the basement where he started and the video is like this guy just throwing gas everywhere and fire and da 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 da. and she's like i don't think he ever meant to hurt or harm us or anything oh god and now tiny is we see him waking up some older bearded man sure and Back to mom, and she's like, Tiny's shy, but he'll warm up to you, especially the girls. He's a real lady killer. I'd rather he wasn't. No, thank you. <laughs> so, lady killer. I'm going to take it literally goodbye. So now Sherry is up in her room, and she's just in her mirror putting on makeup, and she's just chit-chatting away, just like talking to a girlfriend who we see is a cheerleader. Oh, no. Just tied up in her bed, and she's like, why don't you do for a cheer for me? How do you spell baby? Uh, spell baby for me. And the cheerleader's like, B-A-B-Y. H-E-L-P. <laughs> and then, like, we, like, see kind of next to her, like, another cheerleader that's, like, a dead body. Basically, oh, no. Up. Back to the table. And Grandpa's like, everyone put on your mask. It's time for dessert. <sighs> So they all put on their masks that are definitely homemade plaster of Polaris masks. Sure. All different little weird faces. And Jerry Hardwick starts to ask about the legend of Dr. Satan. Get off this Dr. Satan thing, dude. We have (laughs) bigger problems. And he's like, this is what we're here for. We're fucking writing a book about it. And then he's like, do you guys know anything about it? And at that moment, long hair, bald guy walks in. And he's like, I know. What? What do you and know? And he's about Dr. Saint. No, I'm asking him. What and do you know about he this? happens to be carrying a giant jar of... that looks like it has a fetus question mark in it. Oh. And no. in formalde- formaldehyde, which I know you right. are concerned with, whether I... that's there or not. I am. It seemed to be in some type of liquid. Okay. And he brings it in and mom goes over and she like kisses it. And she's like, oh, thank you, baby, baby, baby. And she's like, it's such a special night. <sighs> and they're kind of asking, like, how do you know about Dr. Satan? Like to the kids just being like, how do you, how'd you hear about it all? And they're like, oh, we heard about it from Sid. And long haired ball guy's like, it's better. You don't know. But Jerry's like, no, I, I really, I really want to know. Jerry, shut your fucking mouth. I know. And that's exactly what one of the girls is like. She's like, can we just change the subject? And then it's like, bing, bing, bing. Like a clock kind of time rings. A clock time rings. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Grandpa <laughs> is like, dinner's over. It's showtime. And there's like, there's like visuals on the screen of like old timey showtime things. 
And then it cuts to grandpa like on a stage and he's telling jokes, question mark. But like Jerry Hardwick is definitely laughing. They're in the audience with like kind of weird dummies around them. What? A little bit. And grandpa definitely has some things with like some middle fingers and some, um, what's the pussy mouth thing that you do? It's like you put your two fingers in the. Oh, I would just call that pussy mouth thing with your hands. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got it. Does that have a name? But you know uh, what I mean. The I pussy do. mouth thing. I think it's called the pussy mouth thing with your hands. The eating pussy. It's the like eating means pussy, eating the, pussy, right? The, tri- the triangle fingers. Yeah. The, the triangle eating pussy fingers. Yeah, the triangle <laughs> eating pussy fingers. Like that super succinct name that we just came up with. <laughs> <laughs> and mom is kind of in the back like running a giant. Cunnilingus. Cunnilingus hands. Fingers. Cunnilingus fingers. Cunnilingus fingers. Cunnilingus fingers. Kind of lingers. Kind of lingers. He's doing a little kind of lingers. Kind of lingers. I don't know. He does it one time. And sure. we've talked about it for 45 minutes. <laughs> and <laughs> but also everyone eat pussy. Right. You should eat your girl's pussy. Do it. And um, uh, mom is in the back and there's like a giant spotlight that she's just kind of like moving around. And it's like a, I don't even know how to describe the room. It's like a weird little circusy room situation. Yeah. I don't know. And then they're like, up next. And it's like a dancing lady comes out. She's like dressed to the nines with like, and I'm pretty sure then it's like, I'm like, oh, Sherry with, I think, a wig on. And it's like old timey music. And she starts kind of like, it's like, it's very like Jessica Rabbit almost a little bit. And it's like that song. um, I want to be loved by you. And only I love that song. I think that's the song. Yeah. Something like that. So the boys are like enthralled and the girls are not into it. Oh my god. These boys need to get their dicks out of their assholes. <laughs> like, come on. I don't think their dicks are in their assholes. You're I think a- their dicks are in their eyeballs because <laughs> of their boners. <laughs> they have been hit in the face with their boners. With so many boners. But then it bounced like it hit so hard it bounced back right oh, up into their assholes. Boing. <laughs> And oh so <laughs> she then gets down and starts dancing with the audience, which is them. Right. And kind of like up on each one of them. And then she actually sits on Bill Wilson's lap. Dick. Lap. Dick. Got it. <laughs> lap dick. <laughs> and is dancing like on his dick. Oh, my God. And so question number four, as his girlfriend sitting next to him, Oh, this is fun. What does she do? What do you do? Oh, my God. This is so fun. What do I do? <laughs> oh, my God. I can't wait. Uh, I mean, I love confronting bitches like that. So. Oh, I'm going to have fun with this one. Do you know what I would do? Hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't wait. I'm going to like fantasize about this. I can't wait. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk over. And I'm going to pretend sitting it, right next to them. Yeah. Well, but I'm going to stand up. Mm-hmm. I'm going to pretend to be into it. OK, so I'm going to start dancing on her. So like she's the meat of the sandwich. Mm-hmm. OK, because this is also going to be revenge on my uh, boyfriend who's getting the lap dance. So we're going to start dancing on each other. I'm going to start and I'm going to be like, isn't this so fun? And like, we're going to be like into it. And then I'm going to fucking punch her in the throat and she's going to fall to the ground. And then I'm going to fucking grab my boyfriend's balls and be like, don't ever fucking do that again. And then punch him in the throat. Okay. Oh, that sounds so fun. Let me just live in that moment for a second. Okay, I'm there. I feel like your that moment for you is my moment of um, breaking a bottle and stabbing someone with it. It's like my most ideal Doesn't dream it, oh my thing. god just being able to break a bottle I and just stab someone like break a bottle stab like just like that real quick movement yeah. and just fucking shank yes. someone i i need just that moment really before into it. where they're surprised where they think they have me and then they don't mm-hmm. oh god punching someone in the face i want to punch someone so bad let's punch someone yes um okay uh what does she do so she's pissed because she's my girl but I don't think she's confrontational at this point. So I think she gets up and leaves, which is dangerous. But that's what she's going to do. I'm going to give you zero points. Really? I mean, I don't think that's keeping you alive in any way, shape, what, or form. But what if they think that I'm nutser than they are? 
No. I'm so fucking crazy. No, honey. Oh, honey. Oh, my God. You're <laughs> oh, so honey. cute. Oh, honey. Oh, Kedra, you're so cute. <laughs> All right. Zero points. I'll take it. It's so cute how crazy you think you are. <laughs> so sweet. This is a sweet little bunny. I am a bunny. Um, She fucking yells okay. at him or her and pushes her off and is like get the fuck off him god damn it i was like feeling that and i didn't <sighs> yep and fucking sherry on the ground pulls out a fucking switchblade and then mom runs over and like starts to hold her back and right at that moment the door opens ruth is bare uh-huh walks in this giant door and is like car is done well now here's my question what could i have done to stay alive Oh, I don't know. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that was clear. Okay. I don't have a specific answer. I o- I can only... Know if I say it. Exactly. Yes, I hear you. Where I'm like, great idea. Okay. But cool. otherwise, I'm like, yeah, you're probably dead. <laughs> uh, I mean, that one was very, though. Like, I was like, oh, you're going to you're gonna die, yeah. bitch. Um, so... They're like, bye. See ya. As they're walking out, Sherry and mom are like, I love you. And like creepy laugh. So the kids all get in their car and girlfriend is in the back fucking like bitching about Sherry. Girlfriend is um, Bill Wilson's girlfriend. Okay. Denise is Chris. Is Jerry Hardwick's Jerry girlfriend. Hardwick's girlfriend. Okay. Um, so. It's fucking raining, of course. And they all just got in the car and the girlfriend's like fucking bitching about Sherry. Sherry's at the window. And she like kind of bangs on the window a little bit. And they're like, drive, drive, drive. So this is a house that has a very long driveway. driveway, Twisty through trees. Like it's like a fucking road, but it's someone's fucking driveway. Exactly. Yeah. So they're driving through the trees and there seems to be like scarecrows everywhere. with, But like different themed scarecrows like they're not just scarecrows but there's lots of things hanging in the trees oh god all kinds of shit hanging in the trees fucking everywhere and at one point they stop and they're all like bill wilson what are you doing why did you stop and he's like i need to fucking open the gate oh god so he gets out to open the gate and one of the scarecrows gets down no and he's got a big fucking face mask on again not like the same one but like I don't know why this town has lots of giant mascot like, masks. Yeah, mascot face masks on regular human yeah, bodies. No, that's thank more you. scary to me to like not have the mascot bottom, just the head, just the and head. person body. Yeah, there's a lot of that. Why well, I'm not interested in a lick of any of it. So that fucking scarecrow mask guy gets down and fucking hits Bill Wilson. <sighs> so Jerry gets out and he starts fighting. And then another scarecrow Scarecrow. mask guy gets down and he's got a gun. Oh, dear. And you never want your scarecrow to have guns. No. And then Jerry gets thrown on the car. Bill, I think, gets like knocked the fuck down. Um, And the one of the people takes their mask off and it's long haired bald guy. So now you are both the girls. You're still in the car in the back seat. Question number five. What do you do? What do they do? Don't fucking know. Okay, no, you know what I do? Fuck these assholes. We're getting in the front seat. We're opening the gate while everybody's distracted fighting. They're fighting in front of the car. Like, cause because Jerry Hardwick got thrown onto the hood. You know what I'm doing? Fuck these assholes. They got us into this mess. I'm going to get into the front seat and I'm going to accelerate. If I kill my boyfriends, I don't give a shit. I'm just going to use my car as a fucking weapon and I'm going to run over my boyfriends and the scarecrows long enough to distract the scarecrows so that I can open the gate and speed away with you. Goodbye. And what do they do? Oh, God, these bitches. (laughs) Um, Because they either make the right move or another move. You know what I mean? Like, Based on our situation, there is no other move. Like, if you want to be alive, this is what you have to do, is is boyfriends be damned. What do they do? Okay, they're on the front of the... They're on the front of the car. They're fighting in front of the car, mm-hmm. right? Okay. Mm-hmm. 
And they're f- they're fighting the scarecrows. They're getting beat up by the scarecrows. They're getting beat up by the scarecrows. <laughs> like Bill Wilson got knocked on the ground. Chris Hardwick got thrown on the trunk. Like they're basically down and out at this point. The boyfriends are. They're down and out. You know what? Fuck them. I think they try to break through the gate with their car. Point for you. Thank you. Great idea. I don't know what these bitches do. They just start freaking out and they just like close and lock the doors. Oh my God. And so the other scarecrow walks up. He pulls his mask off. It's tiny with his fucking burn face. Tiny. Couldn't they tell it was tiny because he's 400 feet tall? I mean, he's got that giant fucking. So maybe he looked proportional. Maybe. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Right. I mean, I don't think they were questioning who it was. Sure. I don't think who it was made a decision as to what they were going to do. They were like, oh, it's you. It's tiny beating up our boyfriend that has a gun and is maybe shooting one of them. They don't give a shit. Beating the shit out of them. One of them might have gotten shot. Like, I don't even remember. And then, so he kind of starts smashing the window. Right. And drags out one of the girls. And then long-haired bald guy starts smashing the windshield and Tiny is just dragging Denise, like, away. And long-haired bald guy just, like, stands on the fucking roof of the car and just, like, screams in the rain. What? And at the same time, like, the girlfriend inside just screams. Like, they're oh both just like, Oh, my God. Ah. He's crazy. Got to daytime. Hello. Sunshine, no rain. Oh, God. At our, our house. Sure. Our friend's house. The door opens. Roof is bare with no bear. Comes outside on the screen. We see October 31st, Halloween. It's Schmalloween. He gets in his tow truck. And he starts towing away a car. A car. Towing that we away recognize. The car as their car. All the windows are broken. Uh, it's empty. No. Cut to Denise's dad. Oh, he Denise's calls. Dad. The sheriff, who appears to be like his friend. Yeah. And he's worried about Denise. And she he's like, she said she was going to be late, but they should have been here by now. Um, She said she was at some place called like Spalding's fucking Museum of Mad Men or blah, blah, blah. Oh, no. And somewhere out by blah, blah, blahville. And the sheriff is like, oh, it was raining crazy. It probably got stuck in the mud, blah, blah, blah. But we'll go check. One of my greatest motivations to stay alive is to just not make Skip cry. Aw, that's sweet. That is why I don't want to kill myself sometimes. I'm like, oh, my mom would be sad. (laughs) (laughs) Specifically Skip, your dad. Not to make your dad cry. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So there's videos of the kids tied up in real life. And it's kind of seems like it's like them remembering what was happening. And now we are seeing girlfriend tied up with like a dunce hat on. And she wakes up. A dunce hat. It's very, (laughs) it's fucking bonkers. This sounds bonkers. Everything in this is bonkers. And like, I wish I could describe, like, it's like, I almost need you to see. It's the same as like Mandy where I'm like, I need you to see the stylization of it. And just like the house too, where it's just like. When they're in a room from this point forward, it's basically covered in like marker drawings everywhere. Like she's in a room that just has like clowns drawn all over it and just like marker, marker, scribble, scrabble everywhere. No. Like everything's just dingy and like crazy looking. And um, she has a giant, giant dunce hat on. She's tied up. She wakes up. She screams. Long haired bald guy comes in and screams at her. Uh. And he's like, I'm trying to work here. Could you keep it down, please? And he's got like blood kind of all over him. And he says to her in her face, I'm going to remove your gag. (gasps) If you make a peep, I will cut you like a pig and eat your intestines. Okay. So he takes out her gag. Uh Question number six. What does she do? What do you do? 
neither of us are going to make a fucking sound. She's an idiot if she does. <laughs> I will give you one and a half points. Okay. Because she doesn't like scream, but she does like kind of start to like whimper a little bit. Where Bitch, she's like, shut your mouth. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Getrin's getting real bad at this uh, poor I girl tied am. up. I am. Do not fucking whimper. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm having taking a bell cell. You are having a real bell situation. <laughs> like, where do I put it? Where, where does do it you live? Put, maybe not on the pillow. Maybe put it. No, because the the, the 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 other thing's very slippery. No, no, no. Oh, it's more slipperier. Okay, I hear like, you. I need I hear a, you. you know what I need is a blanket. There's a, you threw it on the floor. <laughs> oh, there's that blanket. Yeah. Kim likes to. We sit on the couch, and Kim, I I get up to go to the bathroom, and I find that. <laughs> Everything on her side of the couch is on the, on the, uh, she's thrown to the back of the couch on the floor. Just throw everything on the floor. <laughs> just throw like two more pillows on the floor. <laughs> so I could pull this blanket over. <laughs> you good That's now? What my bed is like. It's it is. It's like, <sighs> I have like 27 pillows. But and I'm then like, you I only throw them sleep with three. All on the floor. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. She's like, why are, why are you doing this? Shh. Where? Shh. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh God! Long-haired bald guy is like he's okay. He's a great guy. Oh my God! He's been a real help to me. He's been a great specimen. I've been having a dry spell here, a total fucking mental block. You oh, know. God. Cut to videos of Bill hurt and bleeding tied up on like a um x spread thing yep um i hear you how do i describe that to audio vision audio people yeah it, the, he's, like his, his body is his in the, shape of, in the shape of an x tied up. on like a woody x thing <laughs> <laughs> i think it's we could call it a rack a rack an x rack an x rack <laughs> i got it i got it does everyone did everyone get that you all got it and this is like the the video now of like what audience is seeing, and it's like Sherry and long haired bald are turning on brick house. She's the a brick, brick house, <laughs> and they're just like laughing and they're dancing, and then they just start cutting him up, and then they've got an axe and they cut a hand off, and they're just laughing and oh, dancing. Dear. Back to the girlfriend, she's crying, and she's like, "Can I see him?" And long hair bald guy's like, behold. And he turns a chair around and there's like a curtain that he pulls off. Fish boy. Fish boy. And it's the top of Bill Wilson's body that has a end of a fish literally melded into like from his torso. A fish. He turns no. into a fish from that point forward. But not. And then he's like sitting on a table. No, they like sewed with a fish like a, bottom onto him. Yeah, it's, it's not even like sewn. It's like melded in. It was, they did a great job. Great job. Whatever they were doing. Very I don't creative. know. They really, they can come to they our plaster player night. Seamless. Yeah. They yeah. real craftsters over yeah. here. Yeah. Um, yeah. He, so he's basically a merman. He's a merman. <gasps> oh, I don't hate it. And then long haired bald guy goes up to girlfriend and kisses her. Oh. And girlfriend's like, Fuck you, you fucking freak. Yeah. That's Cut not to, how I would do that. Yeah, I know. Cut to daytime. We're back at the gas station. There's uh, another fucking big mask wearing guy. It might be the same one from, it might be the axe guy, I'm pretty sure. But he's got that mask on. I don't and he's want just these like though. Waving out the front with balloons, just kind of, oh, you God. know. Oh, God. In the front of the station. Being creepy. Just happy music. Not being creepy. It's just like, hey, come get your fucking gas and your your get your your no, your it's stuff creepy. and your he's got his balloons. There's just happy music going on. And sheriff car pulls up. Walton Goggins oh, right. is in there. Yeah. Um they go into museum slash gas station chicken attendant shop. room, chicken room man person. <laughs> clown shop sid is there yes 
uh that was him. oh i guess he's just kind of in like a dirty old t-shirt and like almost leftover clown makeup yeah, right 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 like you know when you didn't wash it off all the way right exactly that or anytime you or i wear makeup and then have like four drinks and then go to sleep and I then don't the next do day we that wake anymore up. but yes oh yeah me neither i don't either i always <laughs> wash my face <laughs> i do it's like a rule in my knife now i'm like um i want my skin to look amazing you're kidding you're me drunk a hundred percent wow i have to that's, That's why I look so good, bitch. Yeah. I am, can't promise that I don't have a little bit of eye makeup on from last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't do that anymore. Wow. But also, you are married and I'm still trying to get a man. <laughs> so. I still want my skin to look good. Well, maybe you should wash your face, bitch. I should. Girl, wash your face. Girl, wash your face. I'll wash it. So, too. uh, Anyway, it reminded me more of like when you do like a show, like a th- like leftover theater yes. makeup because it's, it's like, like your whole a week like, later you like find some in your ear. Yeah, and you're it's like, like that weird, what? like almost leftover white face. Yeah. So he's like, I don't know nothing about nothing, and the cop shows um, the sheriff's show like a picture of Denise, and he kind of I don't know makes some gross sex joke or something, and then he's like, Yeah, yeah, those kids are nosing around asking a bunch of stupid questions, you know, about Doctor Satan, etc. Da da da. And he's like, I don't know, gave him a map to the old farm road, you know. Ugh. And then like the music starts getting like a little like tenser. It's like dun 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 dun. And so the sheriff asks for the same directions. Cut to some Mandy shots of right. like a girl running, Denise question mark, and like these neighbors talking about the well, they were like da da da, like about the family. I don't know. And then Denise at Doctor Satan's grave and like little kind of kid voice singings or like Dr. Satan's memorial or something. And then Dr. Satan jumps ah. out of the grave and then Denise wakes up ah. and she's tied to a bed and she's wearing kind of like a little girl like dress and like has, I don't know, like weird, crazy makeup where it's just like lipstick all around her mouth and oh, eye makeup no. all around her eyes. And she's tied to a bed. Tiny comes in with a little tray of food. It's cereal agatha christie's and tries to feed her but she's like no and so then he just kind of sits there at the end of the bed and just gross eat slurps it himself question number seven what does she do what do you do i think i'm really overthinking a lot of stuff um all right i just had a lot to think about it this is a this is a tough one because yeah. it's you're basically in dire situations at all times. Yeah. All right. So here's my tactic. Now that I've seen him eat it, I can reasonably assume that it's not poisonous. Uh, sort of like a taste testers situation. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to appeal to his penis and I'm going to get real sweet. And sort of, like, try to get him to, like, feed me some cereal. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, I'll eat it now. Am I tied up? Yeah, like, your arms are above you. Like, you're tied to all the posts. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my acting cap on. And he's going to, I'm trying to get him to feed it to me. And I'm going to kind of let it fall out of my mouth as if, like, I can't. I can't get it. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't get it. If only I had my hands and I'm going to kind of try and like flirt with my eyeballs and my boobs a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just kind of get him like, if only I had my little hands. If only you could untie them so I could just eat some of this cereal. And then I'm going to get him to untie me. And then I'm going to uh, punch him forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever starting with the throat and the penis. I feel like that'll debilitate him enough and then untie myself and then run away forever. Goodbye. Hmm. What does she do? I don't fucking know this bitch. Because like sometimes she's like aggressive and other times she's not. So he's sitting... To be honest, it took me a really long time to... I I, I hate saying this, but it was hard to differentiate between the women. Oh, like Like the whole time, like I was like, I think you're Denise and I think you're other girl who I don't know. Like... And half the time, I wasn't even sure which was which. Yeah, it doesn't actually sound like the women were written super well. Yeah, they weren't just completely like fully actualized people. They definitely weren't separate. different people. Yeah. Between each other. Right. 
they were kind of the same and looked the same. Yeah. Um, what does she do? So she's tied in an X, basically. Yeah. And she refused the cereal. And now he's sitting at the edge of the bed uh, eating the cereal himself. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, this isn't smart, but only because I'm watching a movie. Does she? I don't know why she wouldn't try to wiggle out of the shit when he's not there. But does she try to wiggle out of her constraints? Otherwise, we're going to do the same thing together. But I think she tries to wiggle out of her constraints. I'll give a point to you. Okay. Um, she kind of does something similar where she doesn't even eat the cereal. She's just like, Tiny, please, please, Tiny, please let me go. Why am I not doing things please hands and ha- hand in hand with these bitches? I don't know. I'm real. I'm, I feel like almost everything you said has, has been what they do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You've been pretty hand in hand with them, but you don't know that I'm hand in hand. We don't, don't know that seem we're to ever want to be. Yeah. For whatever reason. I don't know why, Katrin. It's because they're what it, do you have against them? It's because they're dating these fucking assholes. <laughs> or I'm like, your pickers off. I don't trust you. <laughs> and he just fucking like unties one arm. Okay. And then, so she's like gets the other arm and then she like gets free. Thanks, Tiny. And she's like, thank you. Thank you so much. She's like, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave now, okay? And he kind of just like waves. And so she just kind of like Slowly starts like back away and starts to leave. Long haired bald guy comes in, grabs her, and then throws her to like this other part of the room that's like this big giant cage basically and like throws her in to like a pile of blankets and locks the door. And then people jump on her question mark. And I'm like, other girls like they literally came out from like under the blankets, but like not anyone that we know. Like it was just like she got thrown in and like other bodies started like jumping on her occupied blanket cage room is something i need to know about terrifying and then it's like shots of the kind of the road and like you know the billboards on the side of the road and things like that and the the um sheriffs now find the kid's car on the side of the road and it's like all fucking beat the fuck up back to jerry hardwick he's duct taped to a chair oh and a fish no, that's Bill Wilson. Oh, that's Bill Wilson's. The Bill fish. Wilson's a fish and down for the count. Okay. He's, I don't know if you know this, but your body can't live. As um, a fish? As a fish bottom. Well, that's fucking devastating. I mean. My dreams are shattered. Maybe in water, but he wasn't in water. So. Right. Thanks for shattering my dreams. Yeah. He was just chilling on a table. Oh, and he's gone. Okay. Like, I, I feel like. He might have had a chance. Oh, if we had just thrown him into the ocean. Right. But yeah. they didn't do that. Or like a jar of... A formaldehyde. Of some type of liquid. Oh, man. They didn't jar him. Yeah. They just fucking plattered him up. Rude. So... All right. What's Jerry Hardwick doing? Jerry is duct taped to a chair. And old Sherry comes in. Hey, Cher. And she's in a cheerleading costume. And she's like, hey, do you want to play a game? I guess oh game. And she's like, what number am I thinking of? And Jerry's like, eat shit and die. (laughs) It's not a number. And she starts cutting his hair. And then she's like, who's my favorite movie star? And he's like, I don't know, like Marilyn Monroe. And she's like, nope, it's Betty Davis. She's like, you lose. And then she grabs a fucking straight razor and start scalping him ouch <laughs> ouch ouch back to the sheriffs they're investigating the car and they find some keys in the back seat and they're like fuck open the trunk inside the trunk is a naked dead cheerleader with trick or treat carved on her body oh god fish bottom or person to bottom Person bottom. Person bottom. Full full bod. Full, full person bod. bod. Okay. Um, cut to long haired bald guy. He's just like kind of like sitting down talking his preachy shit. Right. And um, him and grandpa are like watching TV. And he just every once in a while like throws a knife at the wall where Jerry Hardwick is now X'd up. Oh dear. Descalped. Um, I don't know. Partially scalped. scalped. Maybe it was just part of the. She started from the back, so maybe she just did a bit. Okay. Um, but 
I I didn't he didn't appear fully descalped as far as I could okay. tell. There was a lot going on though, so right. I I um, it's unclear. Right. Maybe I, maybe I missed it. So back to the cops. They're talking about bringing um. Mm-hmm. So our two sheriffs are basically waiting because they're going to like go investigate more, but they're talking about how the chief told them they need to like wait and bring some them, someone with them. A car pulls up. It's Mr. Willis, who is Denise's dad, question mark. Oh, and he walks up and he's like, what are we doing? We got any leads? And he's like, what about the dead girl in the car? And they're like, you know about that? So I guess he's just like friends with the chief, the chief. basically. Okay. And they're like, yeah, she was like a dead local girl. And we're they're like, we're going to investigate some of like the farms out of town where they were apparently following like the legend of Dr. Satan. Okay. So that's what they're going to do. And then we cut to some other fucking random side of the road, crazy Jesus guy just like preaching. And it's Mandy fucking shots of yeah. just like the inverted film colors the inverted <laughs> p- what are we saying negative <laughs> negative yeah but like negative film colors but like yeah yeah in a color man. way in, in a the color, color way. way it's not like black and white man it's like color it's like fucking technicolor man it is technicolor like it's all <laughs> red or pinky why did my fucking like bright colored why did my fucking 80s frat guy come out <laughs> <laughs> and the cops are driving and it's like more crazy videos but of like Halloween and the f- the farm place etc cetera, etc cetera. and the cops are like pulling up kind of down that driveway we recognize but still in the negative film way right and then that fades into real life oh film okay regular color film regular non technical non negative yeah technical regular <laughs> style so I would love if someone transcribed <laughs> our podcast I would not <laughs> It'd be like, uh, oof. It'd be like, I was not transcribing an English podcast today, <laughs> oddly enough. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just screaming at the computer <laughs> the answers to the things we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, you mean this? <laughs> Which is probably what people do anyway Every, when they listen. They're like, all the time. you mean this? Or they're like, <laughs> no, this. <laughs> so Sheriff Juan, he's like, I'm going to go up and knock on the door. Walton Goggins and Mr. Willis, you go look around back. Yeah. So inside, mom runs into the TV room where, um, you know, grandpa and long haired bald guy were chilling. Right. With Axe Jerry. Ex Jerry, excuse me. <laughs> right. <laughs> He's about to get axed. All right. <laughs> and she's like, the cops are here. And long haired bald guy gives her a gun and she's like, all right, go down, play nice. And um, he's like, I'm going to go around back and take control. And the like, gets in grandpa's face like I always do. Oh, my. And walks out grandpa. and grandpa gives him the finger. So now Wilson and Walton. <laughs> Willis and Walton. What? I just what? heard W and W. You know what I'm talking about. Rain Wilson and Walton. Oh, fuck no. Goggins. Walton Goggins and Mr. Willis. Oh. Denise's dad. Oh, Okay. Goggins and D dad. I thought Walter Goggins was Denise's dad. No. I'm so confused. Walton Goggins is sheriff number two. Oh, oh, and he's just a dad. He's but might be friends with the sheriff. Mr. Willis is, is just a dad who might be friends with the sheriff. And is Denise's and dad. And is Denise's dad. Yeah. Cool. Everyone listening to this was totally knew what was happening. And they we did. just yeah. So the W's. Yeah. I'm drunk. Walton and Willis. I'm fully drunk. Are going around the back of the house. And they're, oh, there's like some back house and they open the door and there's fucking just shoes everywhere, like a pile of shoes and then shoes like hanging from the ceiling. So many shoes and all different flavors. I didn't know that all shoes of the shoes could be scary, but right? now I'm terrified of Especially shoes. Especially when it's like, there's heels and there's this uh, and there's like lots of different shoes. I'm scared of shoes. And then they open another door. Dog barks ah! at them. He's like tied up and he's like barking after them. Cut to mom. She answers the door and she's like, oh, hello, officer. It's kind of like flirty in her 
nighty wear that she likes to wear. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's not the same outfit, but it's similar. She has, she has a a whole closet of nighty wear. Nighty wear. (laughs) Yes. And so back to Walton and they're kind of walking around. He's like talking about how he's scared of dogs. He's like, I got bit as a kid as a Cocker Spaniel. My, my girlfriend, a Cocker Spaniel bit me as a kid. The, 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 <laughs> you know, they're like walking around and they see like a shed like thing. Back to the sheriff. Number one, he kind of shows the picture of Denise and she's like, I don't know. And he's like, well, why don't I come in and talk about it? And she's like, no, no, no. And he's like, Oh, it'll only be a minute. Da, 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 da. And finally she's like, Okay, sure. I mean, you're a man of the law. I guess I can trust you. And they, she lets them in. Now we go into the back again. The W's um, have like, a, it's like a back shed uh, country garage situation yeah. where like the doors are like chained shut together. Yes. So they are like busting it open. And as they open the doors, all we hear now is charming country music. Oh, like, no. I remember you. You're the one who makes my dreams come true. I'm not <laughs> charmed by this. I'm charmed by you. I don't think I did a good but job. But not uh, by this. And so that's what we're, that's what, from this point forward, you're hearing that music over Forever. all of this. And then we get a little slow-mo because the doors open up. And it's just naked girls tied up all over in chains, carved, bloody, Ah! some dead, some kind of moving and alive. Just do, 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 do. Cut to the cop and the mom. Music still playing. Now, from this point forward, all we hear is that we're just seeing things happen. Um, Sheriff inside and the mom are kind of like looking at pictures like happily. And then we see Walton Goggins, Sheriff number two, get on his walkie and start screaming. And we hear a little bit like, why now, why now, why now? And Sheriff inside starts to hear it on his on walkie. His, yeah. Mom pulls out the gun and shoots him in the neck. No! More pictures of the girls hanging in the fucking shed garage. Uh Mr. Willis, Denise dad, yeah. now starts running slow mo. He oh. gets shot oh, once. No, poor dad. Flashback to him and like with Denise and the family, like at Christmas time. No, no, I reject that image out of my head. That's what we're seeing. Out of my head. I remember you. No. And then he gets shot again in the back and like slowly falls down and forward long-haired bald guy walks out and he's again only music playing and he's dressed basically we see him tell walton goggins to put his hands up walton holds up his hands he like and then he like puts he has a gun and a walkie but he puts them both down yeah and then he puts his hands up it's all slow-mo and he's like get on your knees and it gets his on his knees and long-haired bald guy slowly like walks up and puts his gun to his head and the music stops It's complete silence. There's no soundtrack. And then we go to a complete wide shot. We're like above in the air. And we're just, it's the law. It's literally 26 seconds of silence of him holding a gun to his head from us far up like bird's eye view. Silence. And then we see the smoke and a fuck. And the sound comes back on. Fuck that. It was really fucking cool. And I'm pretty Walton impre- Goggins falls to the ground. I'm pretty impressed with Rob Zombie right now. Just the way you're describing it. I know. I people hated it apparently, but I, I thought it was cool. I'm impressed. So cut to Sherry wearing some sexy ass fucking thing that like I don't know her like ass cheeks are showing. Fucking Sherry, Jesus. And she's walking into like an a adult liquor store it's called red hot pussy liquors <laughs> hey that's my place <laughs> oh that's my pussy <laughs> that's that's mine my red hot pussy <laughs> did you want a liquor <laughs> she open she's available now if anyone wants this red hot pussy oh my god kim i want to cast you in like like 
a country bumpkin <laughs> role where you're talking like that, talking about your red hot pussy. Get in here. Oh, my God. I'm writing it tonight. <laughs> Uh, they're going in. It's like fucking like sexy rock music is playing. And it's like cut between shots of her walking in and like whatever the fuck like sexy cowboy outfit she's wearing versus shots of like what I think are like old time Betty um, David. Page videos. Oh, where it's more like s and kind of. Yeah, things. exactly. Um, so it's like sh- like her, Betty, her, Betty, her, Betty. And then she's like. And I think maybe that's playing inside the place because okay. then we just hear that like in the background, like the noise, the sound of it a little bit of like porny kind of stuff. And it's like her talking to the checkout guy. Uh, fucking his name is Goober. But like, it's <laughs> sure, his thing says Goober. And then he does a whole explanation where he's like, no, they added an extra row because of blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Goober, Goober, I don't <laughs> need all this. <laughs> Your name tag says Goober, you're Goober. And they're buying like a shit ton of liquor. Like he's like, okay, that's a lot. Like, oh, you having a party? And she's like, yeah, all right. Thanks, Goober. So then it's just like fucking rock music and like shots of like blood and skin. And it's all like in just like red lighting. And there's candles. Now we're back in like the dinner room, basically, like the dining room. And there's candles. I, all the whole family's like dressed up and they're waiting for long haired bald guy and our friends the kids the three that are left are all in full bunny costumes of course adult bunny costumes and they're tied up together in like a circle in the middle of the room because my man rain wilson is dead he's out okay yeah got it sorry bill wilson yeah so um like the mom and sherry are like kind of like angels i think and um uh rufus is wearing one of the sheriff costumes oh no that doesn't (laughs) bode well (laughs) uh long-haired bald guy comes in and he's wearing we recognize now that all the shots of the blood and stuff was he was skinning one of the bodies and putting the skin onto his self. Oh, come on. So he's wearing a full face mask right. of someone else's skin with like a kind of somewhat of a Santa like coat over him. Sure, sure. Um, And he comes in and turns out he's like, I'm the one who brings you candy. And then the mom and Cherry are like, who's your daddy? And he's like, I'm the one who beat you in your bed. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? It's because it's Denise's dad's skin. No. And he goes up to Denise in his face. No, in her her dad's dad's face. face skin. And he's like, Oh, sweetie, come here. Give the old man some, 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 some sugar. No. And he I, tries to kiss no. her. And mom and, and, and Sherry are just like, daddy, daddy, daddy. And then he kind of swings the kids around and he goes to, um, to Jerry and he's like, want to know about Dr. Satan? I'm going to let you meet the old bastard. And he lifts his skin mask off. It's all true. The boogeyman is real and you found him. <gasps> No. So now it's nighttime. We're outside and the whole group is walking through kind of like a field area. You know, it's like a farm or something. And they have the three bunny kids with them. (laughs) Sweet little bunnies. Sweet little bunnies. And they get to an area that looks like a tiny starts like wheeling something up. And it seems like it's kind of like a well almost. But it's... it's not very important, but like, yeah, he's wheeling something up out of the ground. Okay. It's a coffin. Oh, hi. A homemade coffin. Oh, dear. And they're going to put Jerry inside. Fuck. And How the did Jerry draw the short straw. <laughs> they're going to start with Jerry. Oh, they're least. starting with Jerry. Okay. But as that's happening, um, Sherry's like, take his gag out. It's so much more fun when they're screaming. Oh, God. These assholes. I mean, this is what happens when you don't get out of your small town. You don't know all the things that you can do to entertain yourself that have nothing to do with murdering people. I don't know. So they take the gag off of Jerry. Question number eight. What do you do? What do they do? And I'm going to actually let you answer for like any of the three kids. 
Any or all. Am I tied up? Yeah. And what you're am I in tied? a giant bunny. What am I tied up with? Do you know? Um, just like your arms are tied. Just like your hands are tied together. I think that's kind of it. And you're gagged. And you're in a bunny costume. Blah, blah, blah. You're walking. I'm uh, sorry. I just like your ASMR mumbled that because yeah. I was eating fruit again. <laughs> I'm like, but not shit. I are they armed? I'm sure they have like knives and guns. Overall, I think long-haired bald guy has a gun, but I think that's the only gun. They're all kind of like floating around. Like, how outnumbered am I? It's three of us, and how many of them? Um, so it's three of you. It's uh, mom and long-haired bald guy. Um, tiny, Sherry. I think Rufus is there. It's the family. Okay. Okay. All right. Here's what I'm gonna do. And fuck it. Maybe this is what they. I'm gonna do this hand in hand, even though this is. I feel like the, the ballsiest thing I've done. I'm going to start, I'm going to be the girl that got let out of her handcuffs by Tiny. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start looking over at him and like winking at him. Uh, And just being like, you know, get him to like, not necessarily untie me per se, but at least make him not want to kill me. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start with that of like making it so that tiny is my ally in this whole thing maybe he'll even just think of me as like a toy that he can keep around for a little bit longer until I can figure it out uh what do they do I'm gonna actually do that hand in hand with them because I feel like I haven't been giving them enough credit but I feel like I would be remiss in not acknowledging that tiny let me the fuck out of my Mm -hmm. shackles before so that's what we're gonna do Basically, I'm buying myself time. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a half a point. Okay. For you. Yeah. I'm feeling pretty desperate. As I was even writing most of these questions, I was like, I mean, just die? Yeah, just die? Just die? Yeah. I don't know. Just kill myself? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how to stay alive. I just, yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. So they take the gag off of Jerry and he's just like, oh, please don't kill us. I mean, they're going to kill you. And the ladies just start laughing. And mom wants to say goodbye and she like gives him a big fucking kiss. And he's like, just, just let us go. Just let us go. We, we, We won't tell anyone. Rufus puts him in the fucking coffin. Sure. And then one of the bunnies runs away. What? And long-haired, one of the girls. Yeah. It's girlfriend. I kind of like these girls. Which I figured out. Yeah. Long-haired bald guy has his gun. And Sherry's like, no, wait. I want to catch her. It'll be fun. Jesus Christ. I keep hitting my tooth on the microphone. If anyone (laughs) hears that, by the way. (laughs) Just getting really into it. I guess I'm very close to the you're, microphone. You're, you're getting really in, into your story. I want to make sure everybody hears it. And then it's cutting to like, again, videos of long-haired bald guy doing his preaching right. fucking thing. And right. he's just like, I mean, humans are just scared little rabbits. Run, rabbit, run, run, rabbit, run. Oh, God. And so girlfriend bunny is fucking running yeah and she trips and falls and she's surrounded by like crosses everywhere don't trip and fall honestly when's the last time you trip? <laughs> well i shouldn't ask you the last time i tripped and fell was like me <laughs> i just feel like i just feel like i'm a person who like doesn't trip and fall very much so i don't know why in every movie it's like just full of tripping and falling people <laughs> i did <laughs> like I'm not, if we used you as an example, then all movies would be accurate. You were Kristen. All movies would I be accurate. I've been a long time, and in my defense, I did <laughs> go for, I went for a run like a couple days ago. Are you about to defend yourself by telling me the last time that you recently fell? No. Oh, okay. I tripped. Oh. <laughs> 
and did not fall, <laughs> but like <laughs> it was, I was, I was running, I right. was jogging, sure, sure, and so I tripped, <laughs> and then like <laughs> just started taking giant steps, <laughs> and then was like my face was so close to the ground, <laughs> and like. I just kept, it's like I kept just, I was like, Ugh! and then like kept, took giant steps so as to not fall. But like, <laughs> so you were just like in the act of falling for several but steps just, is what yeah, you're saying. But, but then was able to recover. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So I, I didn't love it. technically fall, but I was, the act of falling was happening. Was happening for so long. And then I, for so long, and then I like made it back up and I was like, I'm running. I'm running again. I'm still running. I'm back to running. But like, you know, when you're alone and things yes. like that happen and you're just like, who saw me? <laughs> like there was literally two people in front of me just walking on the sidewalk. <laughs> like some delivery I... guy and then some like business lady. And I was just like. I've never been so sad about not witnessing something as I am about what you just told me. I forgot that that happened. <laughs> I was like so proud of myself for like staying up. I was like really scared. My face was so close to the ground and my hands too. I was like, I don't want to fuck my hands well, up course. or my face. Of course. Anyway. Anyway. Bunny fell. <laughs> she... Um, she fucked her hands and face and up. she's like in this area of the field that's just like has just white crosses everywhere but that looks almost cemetery like oh, a little bit where they're just me. surrounded everywhere and then she starts hearing like kind of creepy voiceover shit and it's weird as to what's happening in this moment if it was like something that was happening to her in the house right but it's kind of like sherry almost telling like a fairy tale thing of, like a story about a rabbit uh-huh because Bunny Chick kind of just starts freaking out a little bit. Yeah. Like she's just standing there like losing, ah, her, mind. losing her mind a little bit. I yeah. mean, you know, it's I don't know why she can't keep her crazy chill. situation. I don't know why she couldn't just calm the fuck down. Just just fall for a little and right. get back up. Yeah, exactly. What, that's what I did. I that's what you we fall all for did. a little and you get back and then you up. get back up. Uh, you fall you almost fall for so long and then you keep running <laughs> you just keep running and then you smile at the delivery man um and so in that moment sherry tackles her sure and stabs her and oh. laughs and stabs and yeah. laughs sherry is a sammy because she uh, just stabbed she forever. got the stab forever yeah notice and she's just got blood all over and she's just laughing. And then she's like kind of telling more of like the fairy tale of like bunny rabbits. And then she licks her fucking bloody knife and she's just like uh, fucking living her best life. I mean, good for she's her. She's really fucking following her life journey. I All have right. to say it. I mean, if we're going to give credit where credit is due. And she's very positive. Like she's a joyful person. Okay. She's very happy. I mean, you know. She's just a fucking joyful We can't gal. discriminate. Just because somebody's joy is not our joy doesn't mean that they're not finding their joy. She's found it. All right. She knows what it is. Way to go, Sherry. It's murder. Yeah. <laughs> so back to the coffin. Oh, God. I forgot about the fucking coffin. Denise is now being put in there with Jerry. Oh. And they're slowly lowering it down into what does seem like a big open well into a cave almost. Yeah. And it's like it gets stopped like there's kind of it gets stopped right at like where water starts sorry i just pictured eric and i in this situation being put into a coffin together and both of us going do you want to just take a nap <laughs> do you want to just let's just go to sleep so it's like you want to go to sleep but then <laughs> uh-huh what's keeping us awake well Hold that thought. Okay. We cut back to dead bunny and tiny's like putting a little mask on her face and um, we're in like the cross gave gra graveyard. Yeah. And then we're back to, I, I probably didn't need to include that. It doesn't really fucking matter. Back to you trying to take a nap. Okay. Our friend, long haired, bald guy pushes play on a little cassette player and what he connects that? it to a, it's like connected to a lantern and they have another little secret door that they just put that down into and lay it right on top of your coffin and it's just loud slow down creepy speaking no 
Bury me in a nameless grave. Bury me in a nameless grave. That's going to make it hard for me to sleep. If we right? could just... Shh, 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 shh. Just ooh, shh, 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 very shh, loud, slow shushy, down shushy, shushy. words, which I did find out that it's actually Aleister Crowley saying, bury me in a nameless grave from his poem, The Poet from 1920, oh. opening line. Oh. And it's a slow down version of that. Oh, God. So. So I'm going to try for a nap gets lowered down on top of the coffin uh-huh. and we're just looking at the coffin and then things yeah. come up out of the water and they're like people what? question mark or demons like I don't even understand and they start like attacking the coffin and they basically rip it to bits and just grab Jerry and like take him down into the water why won't they let me fucking sleep it's not nap time bitch <laughs> Uh, cut to Rufus. He goes and get gets himself the sh- the old sheriff car, and now Denise is still like just now at like the open coffin. So she climbs to like the wall, and then there's like appears to be a stairwell. So she's like, I guess I'll go down the stairwell. Yeah, I mean, I guess. And we hear like distant yells from Jerry of like, Help! It's eating me. Yeah, Jerry, you're on your own, bud. And so now she's walking through what seems like a cave, basically. And she sees someone ahead in a bunny costume. And she's like, oh my God, Jerry. Jerry, is that you? Oh, my God. Bitch, it's Thank not God. Jerry. And Barry, bunny, Barry, bunny comes <laughs> closer. And her face changes. Like, oh, fuck. Oh, God. It's an old man. Who? In a very old bunny costume. Oh, no. And she's like. And the man just kind of like walks slowly towards her with like his arms like held out to her. And then he grabs her. Ah! And then someone else grabs her ah! from behind and they start ripping off the bunny costume. And then they like, take it and then sh- they just like slowly back away. So now she's just standing there alone again, but she's in like that little girl dress now. What the fuck is happening? Cut back to Rufus. He's just like fucking joyriding in the cop car, like in the field somewhere drinking, I think. Long haired bald guy is like in a creepy priest costume, basically. And he's going to like the cross graveyard and they have like a kind of like center pile sort of thing. Uh And they put our dead bunny girl on it. Back to Denise. She gets to some other she goes like maybe just like another area i guess and there she's at a hallway now that is a skeleton hallway of course of course it is just right next to the hearth room the skeleton ooh, the hallway. skeleton hallway yeah it's just skulls and skeletons as far as the eye can see down this tiny hallway that's what the walls are made of and like cobwebs and things fuck this Question number nine. Do you fuck this? Yeah. Do you fuck with oh, it? Oh, no. By this point. Well, what does she do? What do you do? And that fucking weird bury me in the name of this uh, is still fucking playing throughout this cave, whatever the fuck we're in. So this stairwell. I went down it. I think I'm going to keep going down the uh, skull hallway. Uh, but I'm going to grab a fucking femur off the wall. Mm -hmm. Femurs are the strongest bones in our body. So even if they're decayed, Hmm. you can do some fucking damage with a goddamn femur. Is that located? It's this. It's your thigh bone. Thigh bone. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to grab one of those off the wall. Grab the old thigh bone. I'll have a, I'll have a thigh bone as a sword, please. And I'm going to keep heading down. I, I mean, I can't go back like I, and, and I can't kill myself because my job is to stay alive. Uh, <laughs> this is correct. That's I mean, that's honestly what I want to do is just bash myself in the, my own head with a femur or just be like, eat me. <laughs> no, right? um, but I can't. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep going down the, fall, the uh, skeleton hallway. Some people just have like a real will to live. What is that about? Like at this point, <laughs> at I just certain be like, point, I think sometimes I'm just like. 
I'm good. I'm good. I mean, like, this is not. Someone breaks up with me and I'm like, I could die. <laughs> I could probably just go ahead and kill myself right now. We'd be, you know, I've led, <laughs> led a good life. Um, I made it this far. So I'm going to head down that hallway with my femur. Okay. Uh, fuck it. She's going to go down the fucking hallway too. She probably has some sort of will to live, I guess. I'm going to, I'm going to grab two femurs. I'm sorry. I'm going to double femur it. <laughs> femur nunchucks. Yep. Uh, fuck. Okay. Yay. I'm going to give you a point. Because I armed myself with femurs. Yeah. Because yeah. you've got a will to live. Yeah. She walks through so many skeletons. What if I was like, good night. <laughs> just, just lays down. <laughs> One kind of starts to fall on her a little bit and then she like backs up and then that one falls on her and she like screams and, <laughs> like, ah! and then she like runs to the end. Yeah. And there's like big giant wooden doors in front of her. Sure. They open and we only just see her face and like her reaction. There's kind of like light on her face and then it's like a OMG reaction. Yeah. And she walks into like this like underground We're fine. mansion of bones. Right. Where like the chandelier is made of bones and the walls of skeleton decor like everywhere. The fucking catacombs. She walks in and the doors close behind her and then something pops ah! out at her. And it's just like a fucking, I don't know, masked weird guy. And he pulls like a big rope at, that opens up another door. So many doors. And inside there, it's just like covered in red light. And it's like people just inside, like three dudes kind of inside eating. Like, but they're all creepy and they kind of have like metal shit all over their heads what and then we start hearing like a little flashback of like the tale of like experiments the story of dr satan this terrifying experiments experiments da, 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 da. and it's like more fucking crazy mandy shots jerry ah. jerry is hi, there jerry. hi hey he's tied down with like fucking scissors and shit in him and like different parts cut open he see, still seems to be alive-ish okay and there's a dude above him with like just a skin and bones dude with an oxygen mask on and like metal bits hanging from the ceiling that like hold his arms up it appears and then he's got like a needle in his hands he's he's clearly like a doctor what a fucking over bummer fucking jerry and um, Denise just fucking stands there and is just like, no! Yeah, she's no! like, I am done. But with then this. upstairs, a door opens. A big giant man in a robot face mask of some sort with a giant ass axe. <laughs> a giant ass axe. A giant ass axe! He's got an axe for an axe! He's got He's an axe for an axe! axe. <laughs> oh, I was picturing an an axe coming out of his asshole. That's what I was picturing. That's what too. you were picturing too. Okay, but that's not what was happening. Oh, okay, he, ass was an incorrect word. Okay, axe, the I word I, I was looking wasn't. for. From this point forward, I'm only picturing a dude with an ass axe. <laughs> <laughs> He's a giant man? Question mark. Uh huh. With a I don't even know face robot. He's got a big axe, and his eyes are set on her. Ooh. And it's just like, duh, 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 duh. So she runs fucking back to the main wooden door. And her back is like up against the door. And he's like coming towards her with the axe. Question 10. What does she do? What do you do? Where the fuck am I? I don't know. I'm going to pull the axe out of his asshole. Chop his own face off. Um, I think I'm just going to go nuts. Like, I think, like, honestly, I, I don't know what else I would do other than just, like, scream and throw and, and like, barf at him. Like, just fucking go crazy. Just, like, shit my brains out. at Just go nuts. Like, just fight or flight all of it at him. And see what that does. Mm-hmm. See if I can get a reaction. See if that gives me some more information about who ass acts is. Mm-hmm. That's probably not what she does. She. You don't think she shits herself? I don't think she shits herself. Uh, <laughs> she should. I bet she shits herself yeah, a little she's bit. Little, she's little little poopies. Uh, 
tiny bit of shit. Does she fucking just like bang on the door? Like, is she just like out of options and she's like, let me out or some shit? I'll give you half a point. Yeah. Because I, I don't know. What the fuck? Maybe try. Maybe shit on him. Um, She has her back up against the door and he swings and she just fucking ducks. And so his ass axe gets, gets stuck, stuck into in the, the door. Wood, okay. And it pushes the door open. And so she fucking just runs back out and runs um through back the skull way. Uh-huh. And cut back to long haired fucking bog guy. He's just like priesting with the family. Right. They light the fucking bunny on fire. It's a fucking blah blah blah. Back to Denise. It's just like duh, duh, duh. And she's like running and she keeps running. And now she's like somewhere else and like she stops and I can't tell if she's like at an end point or a fork or like whatever right. but she's like stops and then he's coming behind her and so she like slowly turns and something fucking oozy and disgusting comes out of his like mouth that is not even a mouth looking part I don't know I cannot wait and so she this. just like picks up a piece of wood and she's just like go away go away because basically this is like all built underground right. you know so it's yeah. just like wood slabs around everywhere and so he swings the axe and it's like almost like comic book style or something of like overlapping where it's like swing 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 swing, swing. like we just see it overlapping with like her face and swing, swing yeah. like, over and over and over again and she ducks again and he hits one of the wooden pillars smart and, and now it's everything stuck. starts to fall <gasps> oh shit like shit just falls everywhere the ceiling falls in and it knocks him out denise is knocked out like in a corner somewhere back to the fire bunny back to now daytime the hills the fucking the farmlands are alive just peaceful with the sound of yeah. murder <laughs> and uh like birds are chirping you know it's <laughs> a little, little peaceful farmland that we haven't seen before right cut to denise she starts to kind of wake up and she's looking rough and she starts crawling through the rubble and she sees light above her. So she just climbs up the wood pile and climbs up and then her hand reaches ah. out of a hole in the ground of the peaceful farm we were looking at. Uh-huh. And she pulls herself out. She's outside. She's fucking fucked up. She looks fucked up. And she starts walking and now we see signs for the road. She's at the road and a car is coming. What does she do? What do you do? Question 11. Oh, my God. I'm going to. Fl- uh, no, I'm not going to. have a- OK. OK, she flags the car down. She does. She flags the car down. I. Am not going to flag the car down. I am going to. Is it just an open field? Mm hmm. Like, is the grass tall? It's like, um, hey. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm not like going to flag the car down. Dead grass. I'm basically. gonna hide and make my way away, away, f- the, like for as long as I can stand it, away from where I think I just was. Basically, mm-hmm. I just am too afraid of flagging that car down, and it's one of these motherfuckers. So I'm going to hide behind hay bales, behind trees, behind all kinds of shit for as long as I possibly fucking can until I find a human that is as far away from this place as I think I can possibly get and just chance it. Uh, I think she flags the car down. The end. I don't know if that will keep you alive. Yeah. I mean, I don't. The boonies, like, but, but we'll I'm just see. like, I, what am I going to do? Flag a fuck? Like, I can't flag the fuck. No. Well. It's a pink convertible. She definitely stands in the middle of the road because she's like, Fuck. Of course, yeah. It stops. It's Sid, the clown. And he's like, what in the hell happened to you, girl? Yeah. And she's just like, I got away. And then she gets in the car and he's like, people been looking for your ass. And he's like, 
um, all right, all right, we'll get you to a doctor. You just, you just relax. And she kind of just like passes out basically. Like she's like fucking like, yeah. uh, long haired bald guy ah. pops up from the back seat. Yeah. And he pulls a knife out, cut to her point of view of being tied up with like creepy Dr. Satan fucking oxygen mask above yeah. her with tools and just fucking like screaming. Yeah. Cut to black. The end. Question mark. Creepy laugh. <laughs> That's the end? Uh-huh. I knew I shouldn't have flagged that fucking car down. <laughs> I knew Sid was a piece of shit. I knew it. That's a fucking fuck storm. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Sid is a fuck storm. That's a fucking fuck storm. It is definitely a fuck storm. <laughs> <laughs> I you can kind of see why it's like critics hated it, but audience loved it. You I didn't mean fucking into it. Yeah, I thought it was fun. You count up. I'm gonna look up pictures of this shit. This fuck storm. This fuck storm. Hey guys, this is Kat and Kim, and we just want to let you know about our brand new Patreon we just launched. You can find us at www.kimandcatstayalive.com. And you'll also find merch on there. Check out our merch store and follow us on social media at KK Sam Podcast. We love you. Bye. Okay. How did I do in the fuck storm? Out of 34 points, you got 20 Two. and a half <laughs> points. Honestly, it's pretty good. It's not the yeah, worst. It's because as I it was mean, going, I was just like, I don't fucking know. Eat them. For real. Like, I was like, I guess I'm dead the yeah. whole time. Yeah. And I don't even, re- at this point, I don't even remember what my dead or alive's You got were. eight out of 12 dead or alive's. Yeah. 12 and a half out of 22 questions. Yeah. That's, woof. That was, that was, that was, that was, that, that was that. That was, that was something. Wow. I'm glad I saw that. I've been wanting to see that for a long time. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of thought it was fun. I get it's fucked up as shit. You know what I mean? But I mean, it's kind of fun. I feel like that's sort of what you're signing up for. Right. Though. Yeah. So if you sign up for that and then you're mad you got that, it's like, well. Also, um, they, because of the new movie coming out, Halloween Horror Nights at Universal now has. Um, House of a Thousand Corpses. Uh, a fucking maze. Oh, yeah. shit. Of that's, like, I don't know if it's specifically House of, you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, it's, yeah, um, yeah. Rob Zombie. I don't know what the specifics are. But I don't know what your specifics are. <laughs> They're doing that and um, another movie we just did, Killer Clowns. Oh, that's fun. Both Killer of those clowns. mazes. Yeah. Which I think are new both these this year. So we should these go. These movies are different. They are. <laughs> we get to go to fucking both. I can't wait. Uh, that was great, Bernsey. It's fun, right? Yeah. Uh, what do we do? Uh, follow us on all the stuff. Like 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 the instas and the twitters and the facebooks we're at kk sam podcast on all of those yeah and sign up for our patreon and um you know subscribe to our pot i'm so drunk and tired right now. <laughs> there's like 10 seconds left can you make it through maybe uh what else i'll finish say? for yeah, you yeah thank you if you could just subscribe <laughs> listen <laughs> rate and give us a review on itunes that would be amazing if you want merch we've got that yeah everything's on our website or on our insta gram gram yeah gram i love you i love you too this has been kim and cat stay alive maybe (laughs) so until next week fucking stay alive and fuck storm goodbye bye Put a ghost in me. I'm I'm done. done.